I just pooped. Did you wipe? Go wipe, okay? And then you got to wash your hands. Always wipe. And then go play, okay? Because daddy's got to do a live stream, okay? okay. Sorry, y'all. Had to get my daughter straight. We're here. So for the, for, the, for the live, we got hopefully some live commentary from our professional sporting advantage. Turn the light off, princess. All right. We got actual in the live chat. Ransom Spartelemy is uh racking up punches on Rivera. I gotta get his first name. But um sporting advantage. Hopefully we'll be uh blessing us with the commentary for the main event. And that'll be um Kato Plant. And Caleb Truax, as Caleb Plant will be defending his IBF Super Middleweight Championship. So y'all stay tuned. I'm your host, BHP. And uh, this may not be the fights the whole world want to see. And I apologize in advance for the noise. But. It may not be the fight that uh, fans want to see, but it is uh, a boxing match. A lot of acne bumps on Rivera as Bartholomew slips Doja. Bartholomew got the colorful dreads working and the um, light airport green trunks and green and black shoes. Um. They got him well ahead on the punch stats. Like I just started watching in the uh, the end of the seventh, and we're in the eighth round right now. My bro, yeah. Ashwell, let me. Uh, yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. All Can right, you hear no me? Doubt. Yeah. All right. So, sporting advantage, come on, man. I'm gonna let y'all do y'all commentary. You know. Let him lead commentary and you co host, you know, co commentary with him. And we catch these fights and see if uh, Caleb Kant can defend his belt versus Caleb True Ass. Um, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the to the click to, to the UDC uh, live commentary um, hosted by BHP, but led by Sporting Advantage in actual flames, actual facts in the building, man. You know what I'm yes. saying? And, uh, you know, this guy is, is uh, we still got to respect the mass champ, you know. We could talk about his resume. We could talk about how um, he's not really proven yet at the super middleweight division, but he is still holding one of the, uh, you know, one of the belts. One of the top belts that to consider him uh, one of the names in boxing. So, does Truax have any um, chance of uh, dethroning Mr. Plant this evening? Well, you know it, it's uh, it's definitely a, a, a not a fall foregone conclusion. You know, Caleb Truax. You know he's a good fighter, um, but he's old. You know, he's older. He's been been through some wars, and uh, we'll see. We'll see with uh, Mr. Plant, Mr. Sweet Hands, in the team tonight. Uh, you know, if, if uh, he he outboxes Truex, uh, you know, maybe because it's because it's Truex is older shit, but <laughs> <laughs> old ass, rusty ass, yeah. But but you know, Truex been in there with the best room, so you know, been there, been in there, been in some good fights, good resume, good resume, good resume, good resume. Good resume. Yeah, yeah, I was just making some. I was trying to edit the freaking title. 
and add Plant and Truex in there for the IBF. The IBF is on the line. Oh, there he is. What an advantage. Welcome, brother. He getting ready. But um, Bartholomew um, looks like, man, he racking up points, man. He got him 145 punches landed versus 48 for Rivera. And it looks like Bartholomew, what, what, how would you judge his uh, career, man, just off what you've seen from him, Bartholomew? Like, where is he at? You know, is he in a decline? Is he in limbo? Or is he progressing? Because let me see. He had a, a draw with Robert Easter. Um, what's the best thing that he's done? Like, what is what is his best? You know, the draw with Robert Easter. That's the best he's done. Is that the best he's done? Is the draw with Robert? Easter? <laughs> yes. And I'm not trying to diss him. I'm just trying to find out what more. What's the most yeah. notable thing he's done? I mean, he's gotten quite a bit of airtime, you know, on these platforms with with PBC and Fox and Showtime or whatnot, but. Draw with Robert Easter. <laughs> That's it. A draw with Robert Easter is his most notable <laughs> performance, man. Most notable fucking, <laughs> fucking snooze most fest. Admirable, admirable <laughs> mention. He took had a draw with Robert Easter. Just as bad as Leo Santa Cruz holding on to his WBA titles for as long as he did without fighting nobody. <laughs> nobody. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. Matter of fact, he's probably more popular for the, the guys he ducked than the guys he beat. For, when we're talking about Leo. Yeah. But, you know, this is what it is, man. But as far as uh, getting the belt, what has Bartholomew done? I'm like, I think we got one more round of this, of this uh, unnecessariness. But a win is a win, however you get it, right? No matter if it's ugly or pretty. A, a, a W is a W. W's a W. Pays the rent. <laughs> this is how they, yeah, man. This is how they provide for their fam. So they got to go home with them knots and them black eyes, busted lips, and paychecks. You know what I mean? So we got to see if, uh, hey, man, maybe True Axe is going to um, get the upset. Hey, man. This is, it's boxing, Eddie. Anything can happen, you know. Anything can happen sometimes. One event that he's still setting up, no voice right now. Okay, hit us up when your voice come back. We we here. Go ahead, Andrew. My bad. Yeah, no, nah, it's all good. Um, yeah, man. I mean, you know, two X, man. You know, he could truly ask more. <laughs> Caleb Platt tonight. If Caleb Plant doesn't have his glasses, <laughs> if Caleb Plant doesn't have them sweet pan, sweet hands tonight, right? It can be a really Caleb true, got a plant and solid a shot. A true ass underdog <laughs> performance. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was a true ass underdog, but you know, Caleb got to make sure he plant them punches with precision because True Ass got a big ass head. I ain't gonna lie. Huge head, bro. But that let me kind of let his hands go in his last round right here. That's a terror Thunderdome. For real, for real. <laughs> Fuck he it, got, uh, a block, got a block noggin. Got the Dallas Cowboys Stadium head ass. Astro Dome. Astro Dome. Right. Astro -dome. <laughs> Absolutely. So one minute left in 50 seconds with this Bartholomew Rivera fight. Bartholomew is just pretty much, uh, you know, finishing off strong. He's uh, racking up the points still. Rivera just getting out work, man, and not accurate enough. But Bartholomew, Bartholomew with his colorful dread, still nobody to don't know who we don't know who he beat, who he lost to in our Floyd voice. Like this man is. The most yeah. irrelevant dude <laughs> who gets the most. He still get airtime though, so they like putting him on TV. He be getting these fights, man. It says I be a. Oh, okay, they're showing Caleb Plant, but I don't know. 
is this an eliminator fight? I'll see you after this when this shit is over. But it got to be a meaningful fight for me. It shouldn't just be some fight that stay busy. You know what I mean, especially if you fighting on the undercard. This is Caleb Plant, the sweet one. Come on, man, you got to do something for real to get on his undercard. That uh, Rivera got a lot of back me. <laughs> oh God, bro, he got a lot of back me, but it is what it is. He lost anyway. Don't matter. Yeah. Damn, this dude. He tough, though. He taking some shots from Bartholomew, some Filipino guy or something. Well, his, name, his last name is Rivera, but he looked Filipino. Maybe that's just the way Bar Bartholomew been beating him up. He make him look Filipino now. Yeah, man, he just inaccurate. Ten seconds left. And uh, they look, ooh. Crucial shots landed from Bartholomew. Damn near, uh, drop, damn near dropped him. But um, them dreads is terrible, Mo. That's that's why. Bartholomew probably definitely got the victory. I think in this though. And I think on to the main event. Caleb Kent and Caleb Truass, man. Caleb Kent, Caleb Truass. Oh man. Ain't nothing else going on in boxing, so we might as well deal with this Caleb work, man. My good. Yo, can you hear me? The homie, Sporting. Yo, what's up, man? Yo, I'm pretty sure it's um, we still got a couple fights left, right? I, I think we still. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, I'm gonna start uh at the beginning of the next fight, but uh, I'm gonna go get changed. Um, let my dog out. Everything like that, real quick. Cool. No doubt. We here. So we commercial break. Your boy BHP, actual UGC. Shout out to the playback. And uh, maybe maybe Caleb might have an uh, amazing performance to where people might say, damn, man, he might be problems with Canelo. I don't, I don't really hear people talking like that. Like, man, he's just going to, you know. Some people are saying it. They're saying the movement of, Kay, of Caleb Plant could be problems for, you know, Canelo because they said Canelo struggled with movers. But. I don't know. I don't really see it. I think Canelo walks walks him down, gets him out of there too. It's like a lot of the rest that he hit him down, but hey, maybe he'll have a spectacular performance mm. in two acts. And maybe it'll change everybody's mind. Because you know, sometimes there'll be one performance and people be like, oh shoot. Damn, bro. Did y'all see that? Yeah. And this could be the one that just, you know, elevate him, you know, just to to that status to where, you know, they make his own cartoon and everything, you know, out of him, you know, sweet hands. A real right. cartoon, you know, Saturday morning type shit. You know what I mean? Like, right. you know, all that and all that. Well, right. First day of the weekend as cartoon character looking. Looking as. By my crunching munches when it comes out. March fifteenth, or eat my cap and crunch berries while we while we watching the <laughs> cartoon ass. Hand berries, the gloves, berries, autumn berries, man. <laughs> berries, fairies. <laughs> <laughs> so they about to read the decision. Um, with, oh, so they in L.A. at the Shrine Expo Hall, and I guess they about to read the decision. Hopefully, they rob. Um, but that me. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> right? That'd be some hate ass shit. Like, man, hopefully they rob this dude. Or get his ass. Fuck him. Uh -huh. I would have to be a real hater. Let me see. Yeah, he, he won. But that me. So he only got one loss and then he got one draw. So the draw is to, to uh, matter of fact, I was at the fight that he lost. That was on the undercard of Mikey and Livinets. He did lose that fight. And that was a rematch. Who did he fight? I forgot the dude's name. Mm -hmm. But he got his ass whooped in that fight. Matter of fact, did he get stopped? I got to remember. I was at that fight. But I think he got, he might have got stopped in that fight. But, uh, yeah, man. He he wins tonight though. So 
He won in L.A. And maybe he'll catch some momentum with that. Who knows? But he had 140. You know, I don't know what he's going to do from here. This guy still keep getting on undercards, man, though. And it ain't like he out here getting spectacular knockouts. He don't speak English. He just out here, just he just here. Right. He just yeah. here, man. So yeah. commercial break. I don't know who next. I guess uh I don't know. Sport Advantage says something like it might be some more fights before the main event. So I don't know. It don't matter. Let me see how much time left on this uh this uh telecast here. So seven. Oh, okay. So it's about two hours. So he must be right. Damn, well, Caleb Plant getting warmed up kind of early. Yeah, still got two more hours to this deal. So, hey, shout out to him. Get warmed up, get prepared. Caleb might come in there. The other Caleb might come in there upset, bro. That's good for boxing, too, man. When you see upsets, it make it exciting. Like, damn, bro. Especially when they, hey, you know, like, especially when they're in their hometown and shit. You're like, damn. That's fucked up. Yeah, like, you know. Like her. <laughs> you hurt. You hurt. Her. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like that, that would be making more exciting. Like, damn, homie had everything against him, bro. He had the fans. He had the opponent against him. He had no belt. He was in there just everything against him, bro. Him against the world. And he went in there and stopped the dude, probably. You know what I mean? Or just beat the dude ass. Like, damn. And the new. I don't mind hearing that, bro. To be honest. I ain't mad at that. Somebody earn it, get in there, and just with blood, sweat, and tears. And then they hear and the new. A lot of them be just falling down, crying, man. Just grateful that they made it. Like, you know what? Nobody believed in me, but except for a few people. Yep. And all they wanted to hear and the new and hear their name followed by that. So that's why you love the sport, man. You see people overnight become nothing to something. This man, Caleb Plant, got his ice on. He come, he came there with his ice. Oh, I think that was a daughter, his daughter in that little, the little uh little chain that he got. That was unfortunate for Truax, man. I think in his last fight, I was able to catch it. Like he had a cut. And the cut pretty much, you know, ended the fight. Mm. He got bad, bad tissue. Like, he just get cut easy, man. He got that big ass head. Like, you know, you got to be careful, dog. Or you, can't, you know, getting well, if you clash heads, your eye, your face going to be leaking. You, you just got that kind of head, that face, bro. Fire, like, you fire, leak. And fire hydra head. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, God, bro. Take the cap off. Oh shit! <laughs> Got him. Splashing with blood everywhere. Like damn, you can't get hit at all, bro. So try not to get hit with the clean shots, and try not to lead in with your head. Just you know, fight, man. Measure. Like don't get in close on the inside, and just be smart, man. Just don't get cut. If you get cut. It's a wrap, bro. Like they showing it right now. They showing his cuts in his fights. Like, come on, man. Mom. Got him. Mom. Huh? Got his ass. Bong. Ooh. <laughs> Caleb Plant the big dog and Spence the big fish. Yeah, man. Big shout out to the big dogs and big fish, man. Caleb Plant, you know, he gotta keep the the um, you know fresh fade, all that. And as uh, long as he win, though, you know, as long as he win. But, yeah, man, these dudes got to just – Caleb Truax, you know, uh, key to victory, don't get cut. That's all that should be at the top, right? That's it. Don't get cut. <laughs> that should be at the top, bro. Like, usually some people will be like, you know, uh, use the jab, you know. Uh, you know, don't don't – don't fall asleep. You know, sit like that. Hey, man, don't get cut. No matter what. And yeah, that's your best Lean. chance of winning. Use the jab. Lean back. Use the jab. Circle around. Circle around. Jab, jab, jab. Right. 
Don't 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 get hit at all, or you'll cut. I mean, Super Metal is looking pretty. Uh, it's okay. It's, it's okay, man. You got Yildrum, Anthony Jarrell, David Benavidez, Plant, um, Kim Bleeder, all ass Canelo, and then David Morrell Jr. Man, interim WBA regular champ. So that's what it is, man. WBA man, they, can, they is doing some suspect stuff lately, though. We got to be real about that. WBA I mean, doing some suspect now that, stuff. Lately. So now that the WBN or whatever the that that website, like yeah, yeah we don't. <laughs> yeah, they not recognizing them or some shit. Yeah, I guess according to them, I gotta wait for more sources, bro, to know. Two-time world head. Well, yeah, they they got Sean Porter with this. Y'all can judge the his suit. You know, I ain't gonna say nothing about it. Y'all judge it. Fuck it. He got a big ass neck too, Sean Porter. But you know, what's Sean gonna do next? That's a good question right there. What, what's Sean Porter doing next? Since they showing him, you're going up to one fifty four. That, that's a good question. How long? How much longer can he make forty seven with his old wide neck ass? He might not be able to make forty seven too much longer. He has the warrior's neck. <laughs> he gave the warrior neck status. What not? Damn, who's next though for this fight, man? They show sure got Sean Porter over here talking with this uh. What kind of powder blue suit he got on right now? So, I don't know. I think it's going to be, um, if I'm going to get my quick prediction, I think it's going to be Caleb Plant target practice all day on two X. Oh, Joey Spencer on the undercard? Bro, I've been waiting for one of these fights for him to get his ass whooped. I <laughs> do it. I'm not even trying to wish that on him, but you just kind of feel you know it's coming. I'm just yeah. like, man, one of these fights, he about to get his ass. Somebody, somebody gonna beat his ass. Somebody gonna beat his ass. Come on, like, don't you feel <laughs> like that? Like, I feel like, man, one of these fights. One of them, um, one of them, Akhmadava Lobs or, or Kiabs <laughs> or, or Steavanox or Skis. You know, one of them dudes. He's <laughs> gonna beat his ass. <laughs> Bruh, it's about to be a bad situation for any from um, I think he's from California. I forgot what part though, but they show sure be promoting him. I saw for the news, y'all. I am at the house. Yeah, this dude right here, he about to fight. He look grimy too. His name is Isaiah Seldon. Let me see mm -hmm. his record 14, 3 and 1, only five Who's kills. Sheldon's son? Who's Sheldon's son? Five eight and a half, one fifty six and a half weigh in, seventy inch reach, eleven years as a pro against seventy inch reach, three years of pro for Joey Spencer, who's eleven and over eight KOs, five foot nine. So only a half inch difference and a weight advantage for Joey and youth, of course. So I don't know. This might be the one. It could be. Why why Jimmy Lennon always be wearing the OJ gloves though? This shit look like some goddamn. He about to go right from a, doing the um announcing to hitting a lick. Mm -hmm. Somebody, somebody house about to get hit. It might be uh who this is Chavez Jr. again. Like, you know what? I know this man's safe and I'm All that. So this dude Isaiah Seldon, will he be the one to give Joey um, Joey, looks scared. Joey looks scared. You see his face? I don't think you want to be in there, man. Look at the state of his face. Oh, hold on. My bad. We got one, two. Hold on. Let me get him in. Damn. Hopefully he wasn't going long. I wasn't even paying attention. My bad, one, two. One, two is not here. He's here in spirit like myself. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Shout out to man. I'm the king of limbo. One, and only. one two kids said that this card is horseshit in his words. <laughs> Hey, hey, but real quick though, will Isaiah Seldon be the one to give Joey his first L? Do you think so? I've never seen Seldon fight. Actual said Joey looks scared. 
He does. He looks fucking terrified. Look at the state <laughs> of his face. <laughs> Look at the state of his face. Hey, this man nicknamed the Small Town Soldier. Is a warrior, Mr. Connery. How are you doing, Mr. Warrior? Good. You are my spirit animal, Mr. Connery. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, man. Here, they about to start this fight. Uh sport advantage with Chime Man pretty much whenever he get ready, but uh I don't know. He looking confident right now when they face to face. The uh Selden look confident too. All right, man. Isaiah, this is your moment, man. You can uh shock the world by just knocking out Joey. Joey, uh I mean he almost built like Canelo low key. I ain't gonna lie. But he can't fight like him though. He don't fight like Canelo. Why the ref got them face to face after already giving them? Yo, can you hear me? All right, yeah, man. We here, okay. fam. All right. So, yeah, we just got a uh, word from the ref here. Um, We got uh, Spencer versus Sheldon. Is that what you were? Or Sheldon? Who? Yeah, Sheldon. Isaiah Sheldon. Isaiah Sheldon. Okay. Yeah, I think this was on the uh, prediction leagues um, one. I didn't know too much about Isaiah, but um, I think Spencer's going to get it done here. Ref's having a word with both of them. Getting everything cleared out of the ring, and we are going to get started here. Got Isaiah doing a little stretching in his corner, and um, Spencer's over there jogging in place. Ref's looking at his watch, says everything's good to go. Yo, it's the uh, can you um, hear the uh, volume at all on my side as far as like the TV? Or are you good? Uh, very good. Okay, good, good, good. Because that's what got me in. Yeah, that's what got me in trouble. So I just wanted to make sure. I yeah, just kind of waiting it. right now. I don't know what's going on exactly. Yeah, I don't either. I'm, I got the audio way down on my end. I'm just waiting for them to. He do low key look like Canelo when he turned around. His build, like the way he built, yeah. That's Canelo's son. <laughs> yeah, but he got to get some Canelo head movement and shit like that. I don't know what's up with all that waiting, though. All right, there's the bell. Both of them uh, go to the center of the ring here. Got um, Isaiah on the front foot, comes in with a little hook to the body. It doesn't land, though, and then Spencer goes up with a little jab. I'm not sure if it landed, but he follows up with a little left hook of his own then goes back downstairs with a little jab to the body. May have landed a little bit of a right hook before that. Throws out another little jab, and Isaiah sends out a strong overhand right to kind of back him up. Now they're both to the center of the ring here. Spencer goes in with a jab and he gets tagged with Isaiah's jab. Now Spencer doubles up on it again and he lands to the body. Okay, so Spencer landed a jab and Isaiah tried to time him with a little counter hook there. He didn't really get him though. Isaiah on the front foot though, lands a little jab there to the chest area of Spencer. Spencer's now trying to get on the front foot and establish that jab. He searched it out there. It didn't really land though. All right, so... Isaiah's coming forward, and he gets tagged with a nice left hook, and now a right just dropped him. Holy crap. So oh. The, uh, left hook, okay, so the left hook that he um, Spencer was able to time as Isaiah was coming in, that's what really hurt him, I thought. And then uh, he shook his head, and then Spencer followed it up with a right that sent him to the ground. All right, so he, he made the count here. Ref's having a good look at him. Now, okay, Spencer comes out again, starts to land that body down, tries to follow up with the right hand. Tags again with that left, and whoa, so Isaiah just came with three big right hands to the back of the head, and the ref separates him, and he's about to take a point, I'm pretty sure. That was some dangerous behavior there. Wow. Yep, that's exactly what he's doing. That was very dangerous. Isaiah didn't like getting dropped there, getting caught there. He tried to do a little bit of dirty boxing there at the end, and the ref said, I'm not having it, and took takes a point. So, okay, as I, Isaiah seems well right now, starts off, on the front foot, searches out with a jab to the body that lands, and he's still uh, good on this front foot. Now, uh, Spencer comes in with a little two-shot combo, one to the body, one upstairs. All right, so uh, Isaiah landed a nice little left jab and followed it up with a right. I don't know if the right landed, though. 
Spencer's doing well on his feet to kind of do- dance out of the way. All right, so Spencer landed another nice jab to the chest area. Seems to be the faster man so far. Now he comes in again with that leading left, and it's hurt him. And now a right sends him to the ground again, and it's over. The ref says he's done. He's seen enough. Wow, it's a wrap. Yeah, okay, so they didn't Dang. give us a lot of time to really go over this. I'm going to let you guys cook on this. Um, and I still got to get my dog outside, but uh, that left, um, man, it, it was over. devastating. He never recovered from it. But uh, yeah, y'all go ahead and cook for a second. I mean, one, wow. One and, one and done. One and no mas. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what they going to say now? Joey versus Cadelo. <laughs> okay, so um, as I'm going out here, I'm looking and I'm seeing he's like got some blood in his mouth. He might have a broke nose. Nah, Charles not broke. Never mind. All right, sorry. That is Selden's son. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, that first knockdown, you could just tell he just was he panicked, man. He started like how uh, Sport Avengers was saying he started hitting him in the back of the head illegally. And uh, the jet, the ref did the right thing. He took the point immediately. And from there, look, he in the corner, mad as hell, just going off, angry, just talking crap. Joey all smiles in his corner. It's some bullshit. One round. Poor shit. It's some bullshit. <laughs> He's going to try it in the car. He was, and, and uh, he was extremely mad at the ref. He didn't know why the ref stopped the fight. But if he would have seen the state of his legs, then, uh, it was you know. shaking. He was shaking up like, "Ooh, ooh!" Bruce Selden like, "That's my boy." <laughs> <laughs> hey, homie had a, like an awakening. They showed him laying out on the ground at the first knockdown. But it's crazy. Before the first knockdown happened, they showed the instant replay. He got hit with a good left hook. He tried to shake it off. Like, nah, it didn't hurt me. And then the right hand followed and dropped him. Boom. Yep. He got hit too, not like his pops. <laughs> Man, shout this boy in advantage. Easy work with that one rounder right there for Joey. Yeah, Joey Spencer done one one and done. Man, shout out to him. I thought I thought Isaiah Seldon might be the one, but sorry, not this time. Oh, look how he fell. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh man. I don't know why I'm behind. I got my little Hulu shit. It's on live. I said, what's it like way behind? What's going on, shout, man. Shout out to Dara Glover. She said Sean Porter, one of the best boxing commentators, 100%. Y'all agree? Is he the one of the best? I don't know. Let me think. We respect your opinion, though. But um, I don't know. If Malinaji, he don't commentate for nobody no more, huh? Yeah, he don't. Nah, nah. He done, man. man. That's messed up, bro. Um, they got some good content. Showtime's team is okay. Um, ESPN, they working on it, getting it together. Bradley say some off the wall stuff sometimes, a little bit. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> I like when Bradley go off and be, be trying to check uh, Andre Ward. Are you serious, Drake? <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that shit? Are we watching the same fight? <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, you know, these dudes is working on it. You know, you know, they they pretty much pulled the plug on HBO. So, damn, Merchant and Letterman got hey man. I'm surprised nobody picked them up. You surprised, huh? Yeah, I'm surprised nobody picked up uh uh Lampley. Mm. Nah, I you be surprised at that. Well, then nobody gonna pick this fucking bias ass. Fucking bias. Oh, he, is, <laughs> he was HBO bias. With these bias ass motherfuckers you be seeing out here, you think that that dude was biased? I think they. Be, I think they all biased for the most part, except for the fighters. The fighters got you know, like Roy man. He he just get quiet when it ain't when it ain't they guy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He just be like eh. when he don't agree, he just be like yeah. You know what I mean? But, hey, shout yeah. out to um, real quick. Like shout it. out to Howard Hilliard for for the sub, man. 
I think they should pick Tarver up. Somebody. I, I like Tarver, man. Them. That was my that was out of all the fighters, that was my favorite uh commentator. Yeah, man. I mean, I wish I would have seen more of them. You know, I might have to go back and hit and hear some because I didn't really get to uh watch a lot of fights where he did commentary. So I didn't get I didn't get to catch it. But I did hear a lot of good things about Tarver as being one of the best, you know, commentators in the game. Yeah, Tarver Tarver good. Pretty damn good. Yeah. Right. It's good always to see somebody to go that, that smooth transition from the fight game to commentary because you know they understand it, they can break it down, and you know, it just seemed like a, a for a while we just had a bunch of guys who had never even laced it up trying to get in there and commentate and say whatever. Oh, get your ass. You know, what's the whole, what's the old dude? Mr. Oh, yeah. Ain't never fought a day in his life. I wish I was <laughs> a little younger. Shut your ass up. <laughs> Damn, they showing more uh the replay again. Yeah, that first right hand that dropped him. Yeah, that shit. It's a clean shot. He pissed, he pissed off Selden. Selden paid the price though, man. Is what it is. Is what it is. Who's next? Who next? Mexican dude. The Mexican ref hugged him up. He's mad. Like, man, why you stop the fight? <laughs> He's talking to the camera. He said to the camera, I'm good. I'm good. Hey, bro, it don't matter. <laughs> he lost. He trying to convince people, hey, I'm good, I'm good. He's just embarrassed. It's all it happens, man. He yeah. took that left hook, shook his head, and then ate the right hand right after. <laughs> that ain't got nothing. Bow. They take that too. Mm, that's right, y'all. Keep feeding them. They say they can take your punch. Keep feeding them. I ate that. Eat another one. <laughs> hey, did he get a stoppage in his last fight? Maybe Ooh. he did. Uh, Joey. Joey? I, I think so. One of these guys broke his KO streak. I don't know if it was in his last fight or the fight before that. I don't know. Winner by 215 in the round one, 12 and 0 now with nine knockouts. Joey Spencer. I forgot what his alias is. It says something the something soldier. Joey the something soldier Spencer. So. What what weight is this? Uh, yeah, he fights one fifty four. At least I thought. Yeah, he one fifty four. Last I, last I thought, last I seen. So, all right, I'm back. But um, okay. So they're actually showing the replay right now. I was about to ask about it because um, I missed the uh, replay on it. But um, was it that left that caught him initially? Mm hmm. It was the left hook. He and tried to right shake it off like it didn't hurt him, and then the right hand followed up. Yeah, when he did that little uh, stutter step after that left came through, it was, I mean, you could just tell right there that, man, that really, really hurt him. He shook his head like it didn't hurt him, but, man, that was a lie. Yeah. Well, that right hand was the finishing touch. He said, well, then, yeah, you don't like my left? Yeah, take my right. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, you weren't convinced, huh? Well, let me see if the right well, here, came. Yeah, here's another one. The left landed clean too. The left landed clean. I was like, oh, nice shot, dude. Just like, yeah, it didn't phase me. Bow. <laughs> like that one did. But I will say this, like, you know, yeah, this is I mean, okay, he got the victory, but he's always uh dangerous early, like in the first round or the second round. It's just when you get him to like fourth, fifth, you know, third, fourth, and fifth, it's just like uh he start kind of getting hit more, start looking sloppy. Look like his stamina start coming to the equation, you know. So I'll tell you though, that was some sneaky um, power, man. Like while watching that, it didn't look like you know those. I, I don't know, they, you know, it could be wrong, but it just didn't look like the punches had much on them. But I'm just watching another replay of that right coming through, and holy shit, it was only sneaky because of how fast it was. Yeah, he set yeah. it up clean with that left hook. Try to shake that shit off. That right hand said, "Oh yeah." You're going to feel this one, though. Yep. 
He shook his whole body. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, bro. So Joey, man, he remains undefeated. Where yeah. does he go from here, man? Hopefully he can step up and get somebody for real in this next fight. You know what I mean? Yeah. Be good. 154 is full of names that he can just, you know. How about go to Tony Harrison or some shit? <laughs> I dare you. <laughs> Anybody, man. Who else? Uh, Hadley or something. What happened to Charles Hadley after he lost to Jamil? He don't fight nobody now? Get a, uh, what's his name? Uh, alien head ass uh, from Vegas. And I'm talking about big, big head as um, it'll come back to me. Damn, you spun him around with that right hand. <laughs> spun him yeah, around. Yeah, he got like he helicopter. That with that. Yeah, man, that sucks. I got that was karma. Did, uh, you got nothing. Up. You got nothing. Spun ah, him. He spun him around. Spun on his head. Damn. Yeah, and I mean. It, I know it happened so fast. We we get that uh, nice co-main event coming up here. Um, Coffee versus Rock next. So, I mean, guys, it's going to be some fireworks next. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, that should be your fun commentary right there. Man, it's going to be good. I'll tell you that much. But um, in that previous, you know, after the first knockdown, when he came back, you know, he looked kind of fr- he looked fresh to me. Like he didn't, it didn't look like it was that bad. Of course, everything was, you know, happened so fast, but um, him going with, I think it was three punches to the back of the head while they were, you know, clinched up and the ref was trying to separate, that was just uncalled for. Yeah, that's it. Frustration right there, bro. He looked super embarrassed after the fight, man. He was just looking really embarrassed. He was like talking to the camera, like, I'm good. I'm straight. Like, okay, still lost. We're glad that you made it with, you know, you, you on your two feet. And uh, you still healthy? But, uh, that ain't yeah. Right. All right. So on this, uh, or go ahead, one, two, good. My bad. I was just saying, coffee in shape. He looks Wasn't good. he the most active uh, heavyweight or active fighter? Period. Like, was it this year or last year or something like that? I think it was last year. Yeah, like a hell of a lot yeah. of fights like, during the pandemic. Yep, that's exactly right. Might as well uh, pad up your um, record in the process. Ain't nothing else popping. Get that working. Get getting that OT in. Well, see, I, I mentioned it earlier, Black, on your live, but um, that's you know that's one of the things that I think is a uh, little bit shocking to me is you know they had um, Rock in here as the favorite, and um, he hasn't fought since 2019. But you know maybe. Like I said, you know, at that time, maybe they know something I don't about, you know, Rock just being that much better than a lot of these guys. But I don't know. Um, I think Rock, uh, Coffee can get it done. I actually picked him, so hopefully he does. Does, does Rock yeah. always look like that? Like he he that, doesn't have the best physique, but um, okay, so it's just the way he is then. Yeah, he kind of. I mean, he looks like a Shrek. <laughs> Okay, but that's how he always looks. That's not just you know Shrek built that. a layoff, a layoff, and coming back looking like that. He just built like that. Is yeah, that I would agree with okay. that. Okay, okay, all right then. I was just wondering. All right, Kong said he ready for that Haplo uh, versus Tony trilogy. Yeah, man, that was kind of a hot one right there. It was unexpected too. Shit, Tony ain't go. Hey, Tony ain't gonna agree. <laughs> <laughs> He can well, be like, sport, what? Sport it wouldn't be the even... commentary. I'm gonna be the referee. Shit. That shit was funny. There was just pure comedy. Uh, Iron Kong says I'm ready. Yeah. Yeah, it was Tony. good because of the um, uh, the backstory behind Haplo and Tony. Though they had a little bit of prior beef, oh, I guess that we didn't know about. That was uh, you know, brought into the match. Right. That's I, I like how they fought in two different uh. You know what I'm saying? So, two different venues, man. One was on, they said the first one was on, uh, I think, a ring. It said Ring IQ or some shit. And then uh, the second the second debate was on UGC. I don't know what the third one going to be. Yeah, Happel is claiming that Tony was elevated and that uh, he actually won his belt. So, you know, I don't <laughs> know. Time will tell. Tony was elevated? Oh, bro. Oh man! Try his ass. That's a that that's a uh, rubber match in the making. Yeah, mm-hmm. he a Uga's champ. He a Uga's level ass. It's fucked up. So I don't know. Is it is the uh? 
I don't know, man. What y'all think? They what kind of views y'all think they're gonna do? You know how people love to talk about numbers. We're gonna find out how popular Caleb is. You gonna do like probably like I don't know, maybe like shit, seventy thousand views or something like that. Seventy thousand. Yeah, we know there's at least four. You know, four or uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, so four plus that. They got our four views. So we we help them. we we help them PBC. We like y'all think we sometimes y'all think we hate PBC. We watch them all the time. All the oh, time. it's about to be all PBC this year for that crap. I'm not even gonna say. I'm not gonna bring it up. <laughs> if this crack, if this cracks like two hundred something thousand views, I'd be surprised. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Caleb can't. Caleb can't. You can't, can't make do over 500,000. Well, here we go. We got Sport Advantage for the live commentary. We got this heavyweight showdown. This one should be fun. I'm looking forward to this one. Still got, where are they from? Rockinati Boxing. What does that mean? I think they both Amer- they both American. We got uh, Jimmy Lennon Jr. with the OJ gloves on again. And a glittery ass Michael Jackson suit. (laughs) (laughs) I don't understand the glittery ass suits, bro, but you know, to each his own. Glittery ass suit promotions. Shit. That's the three people in the audience. What the fuck? (laughs) Right, right. I don't like this over excessive beard, man. Tell you that. It's not a good sign. Hey, it might help them. Hey, it's cushion for the punches, you know. It might help them, you know, punch resistance low key. He been fighting since he was twelve. It says for Darmani Doc Rock me. Uh, I don't think oh. it's gonna be, you know, very. I don't think it's gonna take too long, but who knows? We'll have to see. They're two undefeated fighters right now. It's gonna, it's gonna be some fireworks. Yeah, man. Dude from Philly, too. Shout out to Philly. Philly needs something to, ha- something to happen. You got Brooklyn versus Philly. Oh, look at the rivalry, man. Brooklyn and Philly. Oh, you feeling some type of way, one, too? All coffee, huh? Hey, man. I, I, I don't like the tone of your voice. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm, I'm actually going to be bringing down a couple notches. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna um actually have to back out because I'm a little uh, behind, so I want ruin it. But I'll I'll come in at the end of the fight. I won't leave. I'll stay on the panel. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna watch this one. I'm gonna yeah. be into this one. I'd like to commentate with y'all, but if I'm behind, man, it it ain't gonna work. <laughs> yeah, or maybe I'll just talk about who, on who you was actually picking because you know that Bronx. Uh-huh. Bronx versus Philly rivalry. I thought you was gonna side. Oh, you not no nah, nah, nah. Honestly, um, all BS aside, man. Uh, I think it it should be a good fight. Like I, I don't know. I don't know between these guys. What yeah. you think, Angel? I think Coffee got this, man. Yeah. Just looking at him, I think Coffee. I'm, I'm gonna go Coffee. He's gonna smash this dude. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna smash you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, man. Coffee tune. Right. With that note, it's the start of round one. That's the start of the bell. They touch gloves in the middle of the ring. and um, oh, Okay, so you got Rock starting off, throwing out a upper jab there. It doesn't really land. Now, Coffee responds with one of his own, but it also doesn't land. Both Okay, so both just land two jabs, but uh, one was upstairs for Rock, and Coffee was downstairs, but still in the center of the ring, kind of still filling each other out, still waiting on that big hand to come through. So uh, Rock comes in with a jab, but now Coffee leaps forward with a little short jab and follows it up with a right. Get tied up here, and Coffee goes to the body and a big left hook. I don't think it really landed, though. It was glancing if it did. Now uh, Rock jabs twice to the body of Coffee, and looks like Coffee's trying to establish the front foot right here, and he's doing so. Sends out that jab upstairs, though. It's not very accurate, and Rock sends a little, I don't know, a little awkward punch to the chest area. It's off the guard. Now, Coffee again, sends out that jab. Now, Rock's jab just uh, came through upstairs for him. 
Coffee throws out a jab of his own and does another one. Okay, so, ooh, Rock comes in with a uh, little lead hook there. Kind of tried to sneak it in there, acted like he was going low, and comes upstairs and then doubles up on it. All right, so Rock just landed another jab, but Coffee's able to respond to the jab and then goes downstairs with a little right to the body, and they get tied up. Ref separates both to the center of the ring again. Here goes Coffee on the front foot and lands that jab to the chest area. Not much going on right now, though. Still waiting on something big to come through. Still in the center of the ring. Now, Coffee comes forward with uh, two jabs. One lands to the chest. Rock circles around here and sends out a jab of his own. And now uh, Coffee sends out a jab and tries to set up something. But now Rock responds with a little hook to the body and one upstairs. Now Coffee's starting to back him up again with that jab to the chest area and another one and then comes back with a two uh, over just a little overhand right but it didn't really land it was off the shoulder get tied up the ref separates back to the center of the ring and now rock lands a little jab to the body still a little bit tentative here it's got a uh, 28 seconds left on the clock again uh coffee Sends out two jabs, one upstairs, one to the chest area. Okay, now, ooh, very nice lead left hook there. Comes through upstairs, and now he backs up Rock. Rock shakes his head. But uh, we know from previous rounds that that doesn't mean good. All right, so Rock is able to work out of that well, respond to the little jab upstairs. But, again, he's getting answered every time by coffee. And that's the bell. So, yeah, that's the end of round one. Who do you think uh, – Or I, I think yeah, coffee nominated. clearly won that, but – you know, Rock was very accurate early. Go ahead, give me it. Yeah, Coffee definitely dominated that round. I mean, I don't even look. I'm looking at uh Rock. And his body, his last name and his body don't even match. Like this man, you would think he'd be solid, but homies are like sloppy, like some putting yeah, like out of a bowl or something. Overstuffed wet sock. <laughs> <laughs> Just now, see, I didn't like his body language at first. Um, I kind of thought it was a little bit timid, you know, and even, you know, when they started off, but um, uh, when they actually started exchanging, it seemed like he, he wasn't minding the power of coffee at all. And um, at least early that was, and he was able to start landing some very accurate shots. But to close that round out, coffee was able to start, um, I, I guess, make start, start to make adjustments. It's funny to say in the first round, but. He seemed to uh, be able to kind of time him a little bit better. We all agree that The Rock is really a soggy mud ball. <laughs> right. All right, round two. Let's all right, round it. two starts here. It's uh, two minutes, 50 seconds. And uh, Coffee again on that front foot, shooting out that jab. Now, Rock kind of comes in a little wild here. Doesn't really land anything as he does, so they get clenched up. He's laying into the body. Coffee's laying into the body. But, uh, Ref finally separates him back to the center of the ring here. Okay, Rock sends out a jab that then Coffee's able to span, uh, respond with a little right of his own or a left of his own, but it didn't. It was off the guard and both still exchanging jabs. Still a little bit timid here. I expect a little more. Okay, that was a little wild right hook to the body from Rock. And okay, so Coffee responded with a little. Hook to the body and one up in an overhand left upstairs and kind of backs him up. And now Rock starts to come forward. Rock doesn't have his hands up. Coffee sends out that jab again. It doesn't, doesn't land, though. All right, so Rock comes with a nice right hand to the body there, kind of backed up Coffee. And Coffee continues to come forward, though, meets him in the center of the ring. The Rock doesn't take any ground that he gained. He's he's comfortable backing up. He's comfortable on this back foot here. All right, so Rock searches out with a one-two. It doesn't land, though. Or, excuse me, the coffee searches out, and the Rock was able to dance out of the way. Now the Rock, Rock responds with a little jab to the body. Nice one-two from Rock, and coffee's a little bit stagnant here. He's on the front foot. Okay, a nice left hook there lands for coffee. I think it kind of staggered him a little bit, but Rock clenches up and starts to back him up to the ropes and is landing in the clinch better. But the 
Coffee lands a nice big right hook there. Right on the ropes here. Big left uppercut comes through for Coffee. And okay, so Rock just took a knee. All right, so in that exchange, he's down. He's down. He's down. He's down. down Go ahead. Goes. All right, they're back. They're back up. I, I didn't actually. Uh, I so Coffee comes forward with a little jab upstairs and immediately Rock goes to clinching with him. Coffee tries to turn out to get that left hand free. He's tagging him with a little bit of a hook to the body. Ref just needs to kind of break this up. All right, there he goes. Breaks it up here. All right, so uh, they're showing the replay, and they said it was low, so it wasn't a knockdown. All right, so Rock comes out, sends out a jab. 12 seconds left to go in this second round. That was a very weird round. A uh, little they, jab they, sent they out there. Not, they, they, didn't, they didn't count that as a knockdown? Come on. I don't, I, um, all right, that's the bell right there. A jab at the end of the round for uh, Coffee Lands. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what they said. It was right at the waistland uh, waistline. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. They it was a knockdown, but they didn't count as a knockdown. It was a clean body that, shot. That was Nothing. a clean shot, bro. Left hook to the body. That's what I was saying. He didn't like getting his freaking that, that bacon yeah. grease and all that shit that he had in his stomach. That shit was he didn't like it. Them body shots were definitely hurting him, but he got away with that. But I just it's not looking too good for him. I see uh what's the name coffee is getting more and more accurate with shots, man. So this is gonna get worse and worse for um uh, Rock, and uh, he don't have nothing. Nothing is Rock about that man's stomach area. Yeah, bro. All. Coffee seems in better shape to me. Huh? Yeah, way better shape. I think that uh, Rock no. is really. I mean, he was hanging on through the majority of the second half of that round. So that's not good no. to see. But um, maybe he's trying to tire out Coffee early. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck with that, because he's getting hit with shots. He got a plant in the back, stretching, trying to get ready, because they next. Plant's got some girl stretching them out. All right, start around that, three here, and Rock comes go. forward, a little bit aggressive here. He's on the front foot and starts out. He's got a jab. Now he's sending out that right to the body. A, a little left hook upstairs lands. Co Coffee responds with a left of his own, and now a right uppercut, and the left uppercut, and a huge left uppercut. Holy shit! Okay, so yeah, uh, that goes down with that second. That uh, he second. doubled up on that uppercut, and it was well to do, man. Go ahead. I don't think he's going to make it, though. Bro, Coffee's Ooh. got a beard. Right. He's, on his like, feet. Like he's going to make it here. The ref says he's, says he's good to go. He's not getting knocked out. I'm pretty sure Coffee comes yeah, forward. Yeah. He's on that front foot. That was the wrong choice for Rock to stay out on that front foot. Okay, Coffee, a big left Ooh, hook, hook sends Ooh, him to the ground. It's yeah, over. Yeah. He's not getting up. Coffee. Okay, down. so he really hurt him though with that. Uh, he, okay, so he went with a Rocky. left hook to the oh, body to start it out, and so it was weird. nasty. And then he comes upstairs with another one, I'm and sorry. it drops down him. You the see the sweat fly across the screen, and then the body just crumples under it. Coffee, boy. Coffee. Black coffee. I told you. <laughs> I told you. He would smash him. Yo, Haplo, why was this guy uh, the favorite? The other guy was know, a favorite, bro. right? I, 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 don't know why, I don't know why. Ah. Coffee, coffee I don't know what they saw. got knocked out, so I got to say this other guy, uh, he definitely should have been the favorite because Coffee looks like uh, the Michelin man. Yeah, he's still not all yeah. there. He's on his. He, he's on all about, fours, and I mean, rock. he's on his knees and his two arms right now. And oh, oh it uppercut! Right like I said, man, it was like uh, a freaking not, bucket of water came out of his nose. But why is he hey. smiling? Why is he smiling when he went down? Like he's, he's just wearing, smiling. He's, 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 he's wearing. Night. He's wearing a beard <laughs> that looks like a mask that's down around someone's chin. When you know yeah. when you go to the store and uh, someone's wearing the mask the wrong way, that's what the uh, the other guy looked like. Yeah, yeah, that was very very weird from him. He I don't think he ever looked coffee in the eyes the whole fight from the beginning. He was kind of looking down, smiling like that. You know, like he was he knew something, but my God, he just uh, knew he coffee, was coffee knew. Out. He saw he saw that flab, bro. He hey. saw that. Flab. Yeah. Pablo, all right. All right. Right back, 
I'll be back little... for the plant fight for sure. Okay, no doubt. Shout out to Sporting Advantage for the commentary. Uh, half low. Iron Kong said, "Hey, stop hating on fat dudes, man." But then he said in the next comment, "What the hell happened? I missed uh, it." Uh, Rock lost. Butter being the next time then Sporting Advantage. Rock was a good amateur. Oh, okay. Well, that didn't matter in the pros. He just good got Lord, he knocked the snot out that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> the it's not blue. It blue like. <laughs> Into the crowd, someone oh. in the crowd, someone in the crowd. Oh, not poor enough. motherfucker, man. Shit. Hopefully, it fell in them empty seats. Oh man, that motherfucker ate one, boy. Holy shit! I was, I just stepped out the room, came back in, and seen it, and it was like, wow. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I thought he looked like that all the time. I guess they was talking like that Yo, motherfucker wasn't in shape. Them but calling like, them calling that first knockdown not legit was not cool. Right, it that really was should have been knockdown. Legit, left yeah. it to the body, and he went down. Yeah, he played it off like, oh, he hit me low. It's like, nah, man, you. <laughs> he was rocked. Yeah, I, I would say I, though, it's the same. I'll give a little credit to him, man. I mean, that first knockdown was crucial, and he still got up. But uh, yeah, the second one was just too damn. Yeah, he got up. I think, if I'm not mistaken, he got up twice, right? He got the first time when he got up, and the second one he didn't. You know, they counted him out. I think before. Uh, no, I think there were two knockdowns where he got up, and then the third one. But yeah, the first the, in the first round. Yeah, I, I thought that was a knockdown too, but they didn't call it. Yeah, man, that shit was bad though. Holy shit. Man. You know what that is, <laughs> though, bro? They don't count body shots in the pros that much. It's not shit. like when I get hit in the body, when I'm in the rings, you know, just f effing around, uh, it hurts me more to get hit in the body. Well, they count them snot shots. <laughs> mm -hmm. man, he got, he got that mm -hmm. man with some nasty shit. That beard didn't help shit. Hell nah. And he had the, nope. those were old trunks. That's when he was in shape trunks. <laughs> them shits. Was... Yeah, that I started was, to say one too. Like King he got them same ass. That man had that Charles Martin material trunks. <laughs> that shit was tight as fuck around his waist. He was like, "Was that low?" <laughs> I'm like, "Yo, them shits is tight as fuck." <laughs> I wonder why that motherfucker low. That motherfucker couldn't breathe. <laughs> 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 well, yeah. was like it was low. It's like you can't tell, man. Dude, got way out of shape. Hey, I like coffee though, man. I think coffee, man. Uh, his fan base is continuing, continuing to go up. He's yeah. active. He's uh, mm -hmm. I mean, somebody said that he was a uh, the other guy was favored to win, right? Rock, yeah. It was no, nothing. Let's rock about be him. real, though, bro. That coffee needs to tighten up his game too. Oh, go ahead. What did you? What did you? What would you criticize about his performance? I I feel like he wasn't as in shape as he should have been. I thought the other guy was just more flabby. So you're saying even though coffee coffee won, he wasn't in shape as as he should have been. Or are you talking about uh? No, if you put him in there against like a real. You know, in shape guy, coffee would look flabby just like the other guy looked flabby tonight. Mm. I don't know. Like I said, I mean, I'm not going to give him too much criticism. I, if we would have seen him in the deeper rounds, what was that? This third round or some shit? Oh, second, third round. That was second yeah. round, man. I can't really just say he wasn't really, you know what I mean? I got to see some more rounds and be like, I got to oh, see him. I got to no, see him. I'm just talking about his in his conditioning. He's flabby too. The other guy was just more flabby. Oh, I mean, I don't know. He didn't I mean, I don't. That. I don't know if he got the endurance, man. If he could do all twelve fucking rounds, I mean, you know. Yeah, it don't matter about if he flat. I mean, Who, if the got, uh, flabby flabby like ass, like a like ass. a Bruce Sheldon. Bruce Sheldon was fucking Ooh. built up. Eddie with Ruiz, Eddie Ruiz fat ass to go twelve with his fat fucking tank top uh, winging in ass. I don't know. I I. I might say uh, coffee can beat Ruiz. What? Would you I say? I might say that. I might say that. <laughs> oh, hell no. Nah. You just tripping. Off the, I'm, I'm, 
judging it strictly off the flabbiness. <laughs> you said you judge it off the flabbiness. Yep. And based on the flabbiness, that's how you judging who will win the fight? It's possible. You could look at it that way. You're trolling. Andy Ruiz beat the hell out of coffee, probably, but it is what it is. I don't know. Andy Ruiz with the Snickers endorsement. <laughs> what? Snickers endorsements. Dude's getting Gatorade endorsements. Shout out to Ryan Garcia getting the Gatorade endorsement. And, uh, you know, who else? Who else next to get an endorsement out of here? Tank and AJ with Under Armour. All that stuff. Shit, I should get a t- Taco Bell endorsement. Who? Me. Oh. Yeah, you got to be somebody, though. I ain't going to just give you no damn endorsement. I am somebody. This haplotype zero, bro. Right. Try to sell that. Put that on a shirt and, and a hat. You got some time. We... We'll say we'll buy the shit, but you know. But uh, we waited on this Caleb. Hey, watch, Cam- watch, me, Caleb watch me coming in with those chalupas. <laughs> I'll come in with those chalupas in my hand. I'll eat a chalupa on my way into the ring. <laughs> it's with time for the sweet one, right? It's time for the sweet one, actual. Sweet hands. Sweet hands. <laughs> the the sweet one. Right. He might he sweet. might get a uh, truly axed tonight, man. By Caleb by the other Caleb. Tell me, man, Caleb true as long as he don't get cut, he might have a good chance to win. How are you gonna have like two guys named Caleb? Like that's how they sold it. That's how they sold this fight. <laughs> It's the tale of two Caleb's. <laughs> Who's the real one? Wait, what? Well, isn't that a b- biblical name? Like, who was Cable in the Bible? Didn't he get smoked by uh, Cain? Abel? By Nimrod. Yeah. By Nimrod. Was Nimrod. Was Nimrod. Oh, okay, all right. I feel you. All right, so we've got a uh, plant. Versus Truax next, and uh, I'm gonna have to ask the uh, guys on the panel here. So, um, actual black one two kid Haplo, can this fight propel Caleb Plant to where he needs to be if it's a spectacular performance? And what I mean in spectacular performance, can he get a knockout win that can convince people that he has the right to be in the names of Canelo? And the top of the division. I'm gonna say no right off the rip. He he already got people convinced he pound for pound. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said it earlier. He don't want pound for pound on their list. You know what, man? I think that I don't think he'll get a KO, but I think it's a high possibility he can get the TKO, you know, with the cuts or something. You know what I mean? Accumulation yeah. accumulation of damage. Oh, I think man. if Caleb, Caleb gets the knockout tonight, um, yeah, man, line them up. Line them up, man. Yeah, now Caleb. we heard earlier we had some fans of uh, Caleb Plant that was uh, touting him as possibly the best pound-for-pound boxer <laughs> Yo, in all of boxing. So, no, no, no. We have to give light to Ten that you know that me. amount of people, whether it's one why or are they gonna? Why are they going to have – coffee standing three feet away from this girl with a mask and just breathing all over <laughs> well in the heavyweight division when you get knockouts like that you just do whatever you want and nobody's gonna stop you mm-hmm. bro that's not hey that man cool. shout out to the uppercut highlights man it's a whole lot of uppercut highlights lately man motherfuckers yeah. stop getting stopped with uppies yeah. all over the place that's yes. not that. That's not that flew out in the in the crowd is uh, spreading that coronavirus. Yeah, y'all can keep that. Um, you know, everybody that got it, save the little piece of cloth that uh, came on. Whatever, I used my uh, Keith Thurman voice there. Sorry about that. Right. Shout out to Chief Keith. Chief Keith. 
no hairline ass promotions. Queef no yeah, Chief Keith is a Florida Gator fan, so he is cool in my book. Right. Shout, shout out, out to, to the ones getting shout good. Out to, shout out to Rock's hairline too. Yeah, he shit to lose. <laughs> no, no. Bro, but that's Nick. not that flu out there, bro. That could be some serious shit. I mean, that's why we wear masks. That's why, you know, they have those visors there. I mean, that's, yeah, that's the example. I'm having a brain fart. Where Caleb from again? Caleb Plant? Tennessee. Tennessee? Okay. Caleb Plant is from the, I, I'm a fake Mayweather fighter. That's fucked up. I'm a fake Mayweather fighter. He's he fake could- as fuck with that shoulder roll. He could fight. I just want to see him fight some real competition. See, right. see if it's see if it's uh you know just all uh smoke and mirrors. Yeah. We got it, you know, it'd be people with undefeated records, and we want to see them guys get tested, man. Yeah, not I'm not we want to see them lose, we want to see if they good enough to keep that all against top competition. I'm not saying the fights was fixed, but they was all bums. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what we have to what we have to look at here is um, with everybody having so much stock, and I say everybody, and it, it's mainly like the YouTube community having so much stock in these decision made, you know, these decision fighters, such as you know Earl Spence. He's known for giving us decision wins, and you know, all, all, you know, does Caleb Plant have a shot in? anything by you know getting unanimous decisions or does it need to be a knockout for plant i mean for true x oh i don't know it might have to be i don't really see him out boxing uh caleb plant maybe it might he would, might have a would dsg him. be a good example of a true x of you know 175 slow but is he heavy-handed though excuse me 168 wait, wait what was that question is he is he kind of like a, the Danny Garcia of one sixty eight? No. True X. No. Because no. you have to have multiple. I mean, he probably talking about a certain aspect of like, I don't know. Is he is he considered heavy handed? You know, does he have a great chin? Well, Danny Garcia fought nothing like those guys. Nothing. You mean is he a gatekeeper? He is that what you mean, SA? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Based on his uh, record, okay. not being so ideal, but um, still, you know, people will find it favorable for you know elite fighters to fight those type of people. They keep them. No, nah, this was a this man. was a, uh, a cherry pick title defense. It has nothing to do with Danny Garcia. You got a guy who fights like Mayweather, trying to fight like Mayweather with the shoulder roll. And you got an old, dusty, you know, contender. Like, if he doesn't beat this guy, bro, like, I'm just done, bro. What plan? Just, just keeping him fresh for Cinnabon. Because Cinnabon coming. Cinnabon, you know, right. Yeah, he's going to come, man. And, and, and he, 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 he grabbing all them straps. Caleb's gonna demand big money when Caleb when Canelo come around to him. Like you need undisputed, so you gotta give me the big dollars. You need my last, you need my belt. True Canelo, is dusty. Can, Canelo sweepstakes, y'all. Yeah, man. He knows now, he, that, he, now, now Canelo got his, you know, his next three opponents already. Dude, you know I, I would much prefer to see uh Canelo fight Berlanga. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, dog. I don't think Berlega ready for that. Versus Truax? Come on, Black. You wouldn't see you wouldn't rather see uh, I think you Hapolo, you meant plant, correct? Yeah. Oh, I yeah, thought you, you said Canelo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said Canelo. Canelo. Yeah, Canelo. I knew what he meant. No, no. Canelo versus Berlanga versus Truax? Come on. I'd rather see Berlanga. What? I don't want to see Canelo versus Truex or Berlanga right now. Bro, I'd rather see Canelo fight Berlanga rather than Truex. 
Yes. Oh, I right. see. He's saying if Truex pulls out the W, he's like, <laughs> let him fight. <laughs> let him yeah, fight for Lego. Yeah, man, I got you. Tru Truex right. is not beating this guy, right? He's <laughs> lose. But if he do, bro, Canelo, I was born ready. You know, you can jump on that All right, shit, they're showing bro. off the 168 fighters. Are there any fighters on this right now? You got Canelo Alvarez, Caleb Plant, David Benavidez, Anthony Durrell, David Morrell Jr., Caleb. Bro, automatically, Benavidez, yeah, Benavidez automatically disqualified because Canelo don't fight Mexicans, so he done. He off yeah. the list. Y'all remember what Benavidez did to Durrell? And yeah. Sean Porter got the oh, wrong no. suit. They, he wait got, a minute, like, wait a he, he hired the He didn't the fight wrong... Darrell, did he? He fought Darrell, yeah. did he? Yeah, he did. David Benavidez, right? Okay, yeah. we're going to stop you right there. No, Sean Porter looks like a million dollars. He looks great. He's a uh, <laughs> warrior of 147. He's fought yeah, everybody. There's yeah. not a person at 147 Bro, that you can Sean name Porter. that Sean Porter hasn't fought. At some point. Good, so man, he yes. gets he gets a pass on anything he wants to wear, just like you coffee know, gets know, a pass on standing three feet. Yeah, bro. Sean Porter looked like he was a, a member of the uh Love Boat crew right there. <laughs> Shit. The well, the past blue week blue. has let us know that uh Sean Porter has been getting paid because everybody's concerned with money. Them ties is they got a, he got a uh fifty thousand dollar tie on. Shit. Shout out to Sean Porter, man. Out of blue Sean, suit. Sean Porter's wearing the Trump suit. Damn. But uh, that's what I said. I wonder who next for him. He be getting trying to. I mean, he be getting all the damn shine, like Diddy on other people fights. Oh, dude, yeah, this all guy's got a, this guy's got a pink fringe belt. Come on. Uh, we got Caleb Plant and Truex. Caleb Truax, man. Some highlight marker shoes. The sweet one. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> Airport vest ass color shit. Oh, man. This man, his trainer just hit him upside the head. Truax defense is going to be off. He just got clipped in the head from his trainer. <laughs> you know what I noticed? <laughs> when, he throw, when he throws that left hook, he puts his elbow over his fist. That is not a good thing. He got clipped again. Damn, by his trainer. <laughs> he said trainer in the, in the dressing room whipping his ass. Hey, he's, he's just a villain. He had the bit zone. He clipped it twice to the head with hooks. Damn, Truex. It's not a good and, look. And this boy, the trainer, had, had the, the KN95 down below his nose. Come on. <laughs> They're showing his highlights when he fought James DeGale in London, England. Oh, he is tagging him. You see it? <laughs> He's clipping him. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, Plant may be in for... Woo. In the back of the head, too. That's bad. Behind the ear. Damn. Bad. Oh, he did it twice. <laughs> That's it. That's it. He drops down. What was the name of that Isaiah guy? He dropped down to his knees and kissed the ground. Yeah, yeah, I seen it. He caught him behind the ear twice with the bro, same you hook. You can't be by your trainer, bro. That'd be Caleb Plant. I got Caleb Yo, Plant for this. Behind the ear is a legal by, shot. By left hook. Yeah, it, it Caleb was, Plant it, left hook. It, it, well, it's not illegal shot. Again. Most of these knockouts come from that behind the ear shot. Yep. Yo, I'm saying it's not an illegal shot. Right, right. But what I'm trying to say is if he can't see that and his trainer doing it with them big ass mitts, what you think, Caleb? <laughs> right. I, got, I got Caleb by left hook knockout. <laughs> yeah, I see it open, bro. He got hit twice with it. Then he got he said something after the second one lady, like, hey man. I gotta get get a different mid holder out here or some shit. <laughs> you're, like, you're like, damn man, he got a good left hook. <laughs> man, this dude got too he got too much hand speed to hold mitts. Yo, wait a minute. <laughs> Who you think will win between Sean Porter and Brian Kenny? And who? He was being Brian, Brian Kenny. Stop it. Brian Kenny will beat the shit out of Sean Porter. Stop trolling. Bro. I don't know. I, I like uh, Brian Kenny's suit better. 
Oh, you told I thought you told him to fight. I thought you was trolling. No, uh, man, Sean Porter can't dress for shit, but he can fight. He can fight, though. Yeah, when, you know, Sean Porter starts wearing graph paper as a shirt, then, yeah, we can start comparing that. This man be out here just, and his daddy always in the background with the icy ass. It looked like a rockaway ass chain or some shit. He always got a bigger chain than his son. <laughs> <laughs> he always trying to outclass the son and shit. With a with a Kango hat. With the spy bro. cap on. <laughs> bro, bro. Uh Sean Porter. <laughs> uh, Sean, Porter Sean, Sean, Sean Porter has the double Windsor knot. He's got like the stripy shirt and then the, the blue suit. Come on. That looks like 1979. Come on now, look at Brian. Come on now, like that purple tie is just screaming, "Help me!" All, he, all he's missing is the uh, the ruffled shirt. Uh, Heidi Andro, she's the only kind of like one that just you know she ain't got no extra uh, extraness to her. One of the PBC commentators. Hey, I mean, Sean Porter ain't got ain't got nothing on Demetrius Andre. That motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> he be coming out with some. So the little <laughs> pink flare on oh, uh, plants trunks. Do you think that could uh, possibly cause confusion for Truex? Nah, the bright ass I, shoes, I, might. I, I think. I yeah, think he got the some bright ass kicks. Fringes, the pink skirt that plant has could be a problem. Yeah. Sean Porter ain't helping with that powder blue, sky blue shit that he got on. Yeah. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody helping, man. Right. He like, oh, he gonna wear pink? I'm gonna wear powder blue. That's a fuck him up. Hell yeah. They all over the place. Yeah, I can't but, help but, but notice. But, Trek, but the, the shoes thing. are done, man. God dang. <laughs> Get him some new shoes. But here's the thing, though. <laughs> Caleb Truax's whole outfit is pink. So I, that man, you know, he getting clipped by his trainer. He got the wrong shoes. Yeah, Caleb clipping his he clipping his trainer. <laughs> <laughs> right, Caleb Plant is clipping his trainer. Yeah, okay. and, his, and trucks getting clipped by his trainer. <laughs> right, that's funny, man. Yeah, that's funny. Porter, Porter looks kind of silly. Yeah, I think he's gonna go upside Truex head, bro. Hey, that's Porter though, man. He always got loud gear on. He always got a loud suit on. As long as they check that man knows before they go live, you know what I mean? Because that man, if if they ever make a mistake and not check his nose before they go live, bro, it's going to be terrible. Everybody can see what's going on in his nose, man, them nostrils. It looks like the long-awaited time is finally drawing near. Well, I say that, and then they pan out of the camera frame. But hey, is, is, is anybody else tripping off how long they're stretching this out? I don't know what's going on. I got the volume so low. I don't ever listen to commentary like that. They're that's trying to promote it like it's a great fight. <laughs> it's, it's been it's been like a half. Wait, hold on. You know what? Is there some type of MMA fight going on or some shit? And they waiting for that to no, end. There's good. There's basketball going on. There's there's a lot of other stuff going on. There must be something going on that's kind of interfering. They're trying to wait for something to end or something. I don't know. They taking a long time though, because that fucking coffee fight being over. That shit been been over with. So. Yo, who that chick? Who's the, is that? Caleb Plant girl? Is she back there? You know his wife. Is this fiance or wife or whatever? She works for uh PBC. She one of the uh commentators or she light skin reporters. Who's girlfriend? She's like, uh, light brown, light brown skin. Kind of got like the Indian tone who, a little bit. Who, which one? Whose girlfriend? Kayla Plant's girl. What's her name? Remember, she's like uh, a. Uh, uh, she's just waiting to jump over to the Truax camp. Uh, he do got some bright highlight marker shoes on. Thank you. <laughs> pink and. Why do they, they look- both have pink in their colors? Like, l- literally. It's. Not even October. What is yeah. this? Uh, yeah, man, you can see all the damn scars and shit from the cuts this man got all over his eye when, he, when they show Truex up close. It's a war. 
all the damn places where he got stitches and all that. Like, man, he can't get cut at all. Don't yeah, he opens it. up easy. All right. So it looks like due to, um, you know, just protocol, getting everything, making sure everything is, you know, correct for um, the new bubble um, regulations that, you know, they're taking a little bit of extra time, but looking like an ETA of about 10, 12 minutes, guys. Yeah, you call that, okay. you call that uh, whatever you want, but I call it stalling. Yeah, like what are they stalling for? I said, there got to be a reason. See, on the PBC, no, we don't do that over here. You know, maybe that's something that DAZN does, something like that. But at the PBC, no, no, no. There's something that's going on. They're just making sure that, you know, no germs, anything like that is, you know, able to contact the fighters. Because, you know, that's that's what comes first is safety right. at the PBC. Yeah, they're testing. They're giving them. That's uh, why they rap, took, them, that's rapid, why they took Bada off the damn boxing rack. That's so why they took Bada off the damn Sweet hands coming in like a bubblegum wrapper. <laughs> he looks like a bubblegum. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the newest bubble young ass. Shout out to Newer Garber, the new sub man. Shout out to you, bro. Fucking bubble young rapper looking ass coming in. Sean spent a lot, a lot of time putting that suit together. Stop the hate. Yeah, yeah that's the thing about it. Sean be taking three days. You know what I mean, he take about a whole week trying to pick out, pick out his outfit. This and it's is still like the failed. 20th commercial they've shown. What the hell is going on? Hey, man, they paid it. They got to pay, man. Sponsors, man. They trying to promote this shit. Whatever. Somebody got to pay for it. It's called stalling. Don't fuck hey, around. Hey, Haplo, I'm starting to see headlines of, of your boy, Joey Spencer, man. I know it ain't your boy, but what, what you think about him, man? His performance. Did you see it? Joey Spencer? How don't do you think you, don't hit him with the boy. Conor McGregor. Huh? Joey Spencer is not my boy. I was fucking with you, man. But what, did you see the fight, though? Uh, probably. <laughs> yeah, hey, uh, off subject, I, I seen that. Y'all seen that uh, proper 12 commercial, right? <laughs> Which one? Uh-uh. Yeah, he was like, proper 12. <laughs> yeah, he should say, drink it or I'll punch you in the face. <laughs> 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 what I am seeing though right now is like a NASCAR commercial with some weird ass shit that has nothing to do with boxing. But it's a spot. It's a Fox Sports, so you know they do their thing. They got other shit going on too. They got to promote oil and all kind of shit. Yeah, man, they gotta pay for this fight. Public yeah. broadcast. Fox. So we get it. Somebody I gotta pay for it. Why they take it so long with the fight? That's kind of weird. Hey, give a true axe more. Hey, hopefully, true axe got more time to figure it out. Yeah, maybe he could duck a left hook. Like, yeah, you got to duck that shit. <laughs> yeah, he got to work a little bit more with his trainer. He keep getting clipped, with fucking mitts and shit. What the fuck you doing? Yeah, now that big got ass, girl, big now ass they, mitt coming now, towards his head. He can't even now wait. They, a now they got girls boxing in, in short pants, Brooklyn Ooh. boxing. Brooklyn Boxing. Sponsored by one two. Brooklyn. We're Brooklyn at. Shit, uh, I wonder if there's anybody of note in LA, you know, at this fight. It's at the Expo Hall. Probably not though. It's a pandemic. They showing damn. That's crazy. Like I mean, now, you know, they they taking precautions, but they'll show, like, them guys getting the victories from previous fights. And immediately what they do, they'll fall to their knees and put their damn head on the canvas. Nasty-ass, filthy canvas. It's their head implanted on the shit. And Truax, bald-ass head, man. All kind of germs on this shit. Is what it is. Okay, hopefully after this little uh, advertisement, they bring these guys out. Bro, they're stalling. Come on. I'm a TV guy. They're stalling this shit. I honestly don't understand what's going on. What, what's, what the holdup is. There he is, putting his head on the canvas again. Bacteria heavy head, head ass. Heavy head promotion. 
Huh? How many times can they show the same oh, shit he's a Steelers over fan. and over? I didn't know Truex was a Steelers fan. Oh, shit. Well. You ain't rooting for him now? Team Truex. No, no. no. Now mm. UGC is uh, a Truex fan. Team Truex. God damn it. Let's go. Fuck Juan, man. you know I gave you the yellow and black belt already. Yellow and black belt. Yeah, you put the yellow and black belt online. Well, with Tony, if you vacated the pink one. <laughs> what? <laughs> Tony's pink belt. You vacated. Oh, bro, you gotta stop, Ali. Tony. Probably, I'm surprised Tony did go live, man. <laughs> he probably is. Yeah. So with um, Caleb Plant having almost a ten year age. Um, difference. Do you think that um, experience will play into uh, Truex's, you know, maybe having success tonight? No. Simple as that. He said no. Manny been about to start. What's up, 419? Viva Mexico. This is what you call a cherry pick. What was he ranked, though, in the IBF? Before this, before they or uh, this fight ma got made, was this a voluntary? What the fuck is he? Uh, is he ranked? Oh, here he comes, yeah, true axe. Keys to victories. Don't get cut. Duck the left. Duck the hook. <laughs> Duck the hook. Keys to victory. Don't get knocked out. <laughs> Don't get yeah. Don't get hurt. So yeah, we have uh Truex making his uh ring walk right now. He um I mean let, let's go ahead and just say it, man. This Fox PVC, I mean the HD is just so good. I mean, you can see everything going on. I mean, you can see down to his little wrinkles, but uh yeah, he's gonna be in like a um Red with a golden sparkle attire coming out here. It's going to be in a uh, maroon or dark uh, red I, glove. I mean, that's slightly pink to me. I see some pink in there. May, um, you know, that's, yeah, yeah, could be. Could be some pink. I'd say it was more along the lines of, like, royal red. But now, the man of the hour, Caleb Plant, making his entrance. And of course, man, and I'm not even being biased when saying this. PBC Showtime, man, they put on some of the best promos. I mean, they are so good at this. Shout out to S.A. and Haplo, the pessimistic and the optimistic of boxing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not BSing at all. Um, no, nah, I'm just saying you just you just you just. He, 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 didn't, he, didn't, he didn't say bet. BS, he said pessimistic. Yeah, Crawford's best promo came from Showtime. Came from Showtime. Why is Plant using like a pink fringe on his gloves and belt? Like, that's like, where did he's bringing back cuffs, man? He's bringing back the cuff game. <laughs> 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 When did pink become something good? Like pink was always like not good. No, no. In all fairness, this got something to do with his daughter, or is it just some shit that he just loved pink? Like uh, Kodo, Kodo loved pink too. That's yeah, I'm not too familiar with uh, if maybe this has some deeper meaning, but uh, yeah, he, you know, he looks confident. You know what they? I, I've heard some term used about real men wear pink, but um, tonight we will find out. Bro, this, this sweet real, one. real men wear wear pink is not a real thing. It's it's like a phrase, I think. You know, it's no, you know. it's a phrase, but real men do not wear pink. Oh, okay, I got you. A color does not define a goddamn man. First off, but he better fade. You're gonna wear this pink. You better fucking win. Shit, dude. Bro, right? so both yeah, fighters yeah. don't have an excessively large beard like the previous fight so this should bro, uh, bro, bro. Let, me say this. 
Let me say this before the fight starts. He's representing Tony with that pink belt. <laughs> Listen, Don't it's me, me, Eddie Monster, and I got some pink ball right here. You're right. I'm not a real man. I'm a fucking monster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, black or what does uh, Caleb's shirt say? What did that just say? I didn't. He had some. I might be waiting to turn back around. They got. The they sweet one. Yeah. Somebody, let me know what that said. He got some kind of quote on his front of his shirt. I seen him when he walked out. I just wasn't really zoning in on it. Uh, Haplo started talking about his glittery pink. You know, accessories on his robe and shit. Uh, the cuffs he's, that he's um, got a pink skirt back. on, black. Huh? I said he's got a pink skirt on. Got a um, skirt, flare, you know, whatever you want to call it. Ah, uh, yo, it's a pink kilt, B. <laughs> <laughs> the camera, I see, B. It says yeah. you, mer- you merely adopted the dark. Hey, you guys look kind of confident a little bit too, sporting events. And you merely on. adopted the dark. I don't. What does that mean? Wait, or what is that from? Does anybody I, know? I, I don't some, know, man. Some sound like some occult shit, man. But whatever. Hopefully, it works for him tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna if, look that if, up. If, if, if Truax wins this fight, it's a cherry pick on wrong. Isn't that from Batman? That is from Batman. What? I think Bane said that to Batman or some shit. Hey, what the fuck? Who? With, with the same thing that uh, Haplo said? Yeah, you merely adopted the dark or some shit like that. Oh, yeah. that part. He's saying I'm a shirt. Batman or some it's, shit. Yeah, man out here watching. I mean, he's Batman. he's a BBC fighter. He's got a little more meaning to what you just see on the surface. But yeah, thank you, actual. He's been out here still quotes from movies except, and putting on shirts. If, if if you lose with pink. That's not good. This man put movie quotes on shirts. This man out of there. Well, we're gonna have sporting advantage, you know, take over the commentary, man. And uh of course we're gonna kick in in between rounds. But uh look at the face to face, man. Y'all enjoy. Main event. All right. So yeah, the word or the ref just gave a word to both of them. We are about to get right into the action here. Caleb gets a little confidence boost from his corner. Tell him, hey, man, get in there and knock this guy out. So uh, Truex is a plus 1,000 underdog. If you've got money on Truex uh, you're, and you win, um, definitely cash at me. But all if you're all, Caleb Flynn, <laughs> all that shows is how shitty a fight this is. <laughs> Definitely cash at me. Cash at me. This is a shitty fight. All right. Ref gives word to both of them. Both of them agree that they do want to take this fight. They meet in the center of the ring. Here comes Truax. He's on the front foot. Okay, but Caleb Lane's the first little body jab there. Truax still trying to establish his front foot, but backs up a little bit. Now, Caleb again lands a nice, very quick jab to the chest area and sends one upstairs, but didn't land. Faints at two more. Ooh, another very fast jab there from Plant. Follows it up with a right. It wasn't too strong, though, and it kind of gets tagged with a jab of Truax. Truax is trying to find an opening here, and he continues to get tagged by that jab to the body from Plant. Truax sends that jab upstairs. It's off the guard, and Plant comes in, and you can just see the speed difference already. Ooh, nice! Very nice lead left hook comes in, may have staggered him, then goes downstairs with the right to the body. Now, Plant's on the front foot here. Truex trying to come in, but you can already see, man, that Plant is way ahead of this guy. So Plant comes in again, another nice jab to the body, sends out one upstairs, didn't land. Truex is very hesitant, another lead left hook almost landed for him. It was off the guard, but it's still, he, you know, he felt it. another jab and then a hook to the body, a right hook to the body from Plant comes through. And Truex is circling around and trying to establish his front foot, but he's never getting set up. Okay, he throws out a jab, or he, he threw out a two and fainted the two and comes with a jab, and Plant comes back with a nice jab and a right straight afterwards and then misses with a little wild left uppercut. 
Truex continues to try to get on this front foot. He's not successful with it. Jab go, jab downstairs for Plant and right hook misses. And Truex, okay, Truex got tagged with a little left hook there, and he tries to go downstairs, but not very meaningful. Another jab upstairs, and then he comes downstairs with a little hook, left hook to the body. Plant does. Plant's doing well here on this outside, but I don't know. Um, all right, so another jab and follows it up with two hooks, Plant does, but Truex starts to get on the inside, starts to work that body a little bit of Plant. Okay, Truex lands a little jab upstairs. Plant just landed another jab and then comes in with that lead left hook. I don't like that lead left hook. There's 37 seconds left to go. Again, Truex on the front foot, comes in, doubles up on the jab, lands one to the chest area. Plant trying to time him. Lunges in there with a the jab. It doesn't land. Truex comes forward with two of his own. I don't believe any of those landed. Not not doing much on this front foot. Just kind of following Plant's move. Okay, tries to come in with some work, and Plant's able to create enough distance to where Truex doesn't even go for it. Plant lunges forward with a jab. Doesn't really land. Now, lead left hook upstairs landed for Plant, and that's the end of the round. I don't know, yeah, man. I mean, that's first. clearly a round for Plant, but easy. You know, I expect him yeah. to be a little bit more of that pressure fighter that we were uh, hearing so much about. But go ahead. Easy. It was easy to score that round. It was a clear Caleb Plant round. Truex is uh, not really met, not letting his hands go right now. Um, and Plant looked like he already warmed up. He just loosened up. I think he was a little cautious in the first round, but he definitely. Uh, Won that round with the ease. Yeah, I don't think uh, Truex got the legs for this anymore, man. Legs look shaky already. Yeah, I agree, actual. Um, that that was the biggest outlier for me was Plant was so fast on his feet, so quick that, um, you know, Truex, even on the front foot, wasn't able to close the gap at all. But yeah. both men still look pretty fresh. Questionable man wear pink, says LeRon. And I'm way behind. I'm still the introduction. Yeah. I recall saying, let's go Truax. All right. To start of round two here, got uh, Truax again try, trying to get on that front foot. He lands a little jab upstairs. All right. Big overhand right for Plant. Doesn't really land. Falls it up with a little left to the body. It comes forward with two jabs that don't really land and falls up with a straight now it goes down to the body with two hooks and Turak says it doesn't affect him he comes forward oh nice jab there from plant kind of backed him up or sent his head flying backwards Turak's on this front foot is not working out plant's trying to time him with that left hook you saw there almost sent it all the way Turak comes forward again he doesn't land on his jabs throws throws two of them out another one and plant comes forward lands a little jab to the body and a nice Big right hook to the body. Get kind of clenched up here. Truex seems to be winning the clinch, though, and Plant lands a nice one-two after, though. Truex still on this front foot, but he's not able to do much. Comes forward, tries to set up a big right, a little right straight there. It doesn't land. Okay, Plant comes in with a little uh, hook to the body that didn't land, and Truex was able to kind of counter him to the chest area. Plant sends out another jab. Truex comes forward, again doubling up on that jab, but there's not much power in Truex's hands. Plant's not affected, not getting hit much at all. Plant searches out with a body jab, misses, and then falls up with a very wild left hook. I don't even think he had his feet down. Still midair when he threw it. Still uh, in the center of the ring. There's a minute 12 left to go. Plant misses again with a right hook to the body and lands a little jab on the way out. Truex again on the front foot, lands a jab to the body, but as he does so, gets tagged with one from Plant. Plant lands another jab to the body. Truex is trying to get something started. Comes in with uh, two big hooks there, but gets tagged by Plant with a little overhand left. About 45 seconds left to go in this fight. They're... Uh, Still a little bit a little bit stationary right now. Okay, so Trex comes in with two 
searching body shots, but it was off the guard. And then he goes upstairs with a wild jab, get tangled up. The ref separates him. Center of the ring now. Plant looks like he wants to establish a front foot, but he doesn't actually do it. And Truex comes in and, ooh, Plant just missed with a huge left uppercut. Tags him with a one-two on the way out, and Truex has no answer so far. Another left hook and a right straight, and then a right hook for Plant. Okay, Plant seems to be finding his rhythm here. Another left hook lands for him, and oh, kind of staggers him with another left hook after he landed a right. That's the end of the round. I don't know. Maybe uh, he, 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 he might have hurt him at the end. Go ahead. He might have hurt him at the end. Uh, Caleb Plant definitely, um, you know, seeing some more openness, man, and, and uh. Seem like he's going to definitely be trying to, you know, open up more in these next few rounds. So, Caleb Plant, this is look like an easy fight. I agree, Black. Man, that last, you know, 15 seconds was very, very good from Plant, but you'd like to see that a little more throughout the round. I mean, he, it, uh, you know, we're not going to question whether he won that round. It was very one-sided his way, but, man, that last 15 seconds is what you'd want to see out of him. And, uh that was very good from. I believe he was hurt. I don't know. Do you think he was hurt? I think I think he was hurt. I think I, I think he was hurt. He, he looked pretty uh, stunned. Um, I think what it is with Plant, you know, you need to find that extra gear to pour it on more. You know. Well. Yeah. yeah um, the main thing for me was as soon as Plant, I I remember you know talking about it like the entire round, like you know, Truex is on his front foot. Why is he on his front foot? And then as soon as Plant switches to the front foot, he starts, you know, going off. All right, let's start around three here. Truax coming forward again, but gets tagged with a little jab upstairs and one downstairs from Plant. And Plant follows it up with a big right to the body and kind of get tangled up as he was sending out another left hook. Truax, I don't think, has even landed so far. Caleb throws out another jab. It missed, though. Again, as soon as Truax... Starts to get in range. He gets tagged by that snapping jab of Plant. Plant is very fast. Little hook misses from Plant and lands a right, but gets turned around nicely from Truex. But then Truex gets nailed by a one-two and then followed up by a right hook. Kind of staggers him back. Comes forward with two nice jabs, though, Truex does. And now Plant tees off with a one-two. And Truex, again, just continues to come forward. Lands a nice little right to the body but uh that distance between their feet you know that's not something you like to see from a guy on the front foot it's like a about a foot and a half distance both you know he's he's trying to walk him down but plants very fast and very agile on his feet it's able to dance out of any jab that truex has and caleb continues to search out with his own one, two, and then falls up with another jab. I think the only jab that landed was the last one for Plant as they get tangled up. Trex kind of, oh, nice little left hand there from Plant, but he gets tagged by a left of Trex. Trex comes forward, kind of sends out a jab, gets tagged with a jab, and now he goes downstairs a little bit, sends out a uppercut and an overhand right and another overhand right that actually landed on Plant, and Plant kind of Tangles up with him. Kind of got cornered for the first time in the fight. Didn't have anywhere to go. That was good from Truex. Now Plant circles around, turns him against the rope. Nice jab and a big right hand upstairs. Sends another jab out. Ooh, one downstairs. And then Truex lands a nice little left. That's a little questionable for Plant. He doesn't need, he needs to pick that right hand up. Plant sends out a jab and Truex still on this front foot. Kind of start to question Plant's power here with Truex being able to continuously come forward. Plant sends out that jab. It's a little bit slower, though. He sends one to the body that lands. The one upstairs didn't. Now another one upstairs that Truex did well to duck under. But, oh, big overhand right landed there from Plant. Truex still just comes forward, though. Searches out with two little soft jabs. There's 18 seconds left to go in this fight. Or in this second or third round. They get tangled up here. A little... Again, Truex wins every exchange in the clinch, but they're not, you know, it's not a lot on these punches. Plant sends out a jab. Truex comes downstairs with a little right hook to the body. That was the best round for Truex, in my opinion. He still lost it, though. He, Caleb Truex is really, truly ass. And, um, you know, I just hope Plant, you know, I don't even know if this is going to, you know, go 12, but 
I would be disappointed if it does go 12. I think Caleb Plant should be able to get this dude up out of there in the next three or four rounds. Yeah, man, I really liked what Plant was doing at the end of that second round, and I thought he was going to continue it into the third round. But, you know, as soon as the bell rang, you know, it's Truax, again, just coming forward on that front foot. And that just goes to show, you know, the warrior that he is. That, you know, it, it, he doesn't care that, you know, you're going to have to knock him out. Right. Yeah, man. Shout out to Caleb Plant. He's <laughs> trash that his fight sucks. <laughs> Shout out to Caleb, though. Uh Caleb Plant giving putting on the all star performance, man. Plant. Uh this fight is over by the end of the six. Yeah, I feel like it is too. I'll be I'll be really disappointed in um plant if it's not over by the six, man. Uh PBC Robin Fox with these one sided main events. Yeah, True has even like he need to be in there. All right, we back. All right, start around four here. Again, Truex comes out on the front foot, but Plant comes out swinging this time. A left and a right land for him. But again, Truex starts to establish that front foot, starts to creep in. Plant searches with an overhand right that misses. Nice jab. And then Truex lands two jabs of his own, then one downstairs, and a nice little two to the body lands for Truex. Plant tries to set up a one-two. It didn't land, though. Now Truex misses a big little... Looping left hand. All right, so Truex is backing him up into the corner here, and Plant's able to dance out of the way after he lands the jab. Again, just trading jabs back and forth here. Plant sends out another jab. Truex trying to come in, and Plant, again, much faster, lands one to the body, goes upstairs with one. It doesn't land. Truex comes forward with a jab. Ooh, nice lead left hook lands upstairs for Plant, though. Another right to the body, and then another little sneaky uppercut lands for him. Overhand right misses, though, and he gets tagged by Truex with a nice right hook to the body. Truex starts to come forward here, back Plant up. But Plant sends out that jab and tags him twice. He doubles up on it. Another hook to the body lands for Plant. Misses the overhand right, but the jab afterwards lands for Plant. Trex again on this front foot. He comes in with the jab and gets tagged with a right and then a left hook by Plant. Looks like a little bit of blood already on Trex's nose as he's coming forward and gets tagged. We'll have to see. A little right straight there from Plant didn't land. It's close, though. All right. Oh, big three. It was a jab and then two left hooks afterwards land for Plant. Then kind of just taps him again with the jab and then another jab lands for him. All right, so Plant again just beating him to every single punch. Trex comes forward, but man, he just gets tagged and everything he had on the punch is left. Now, oh, Caleb Plant nails him with another counter hook, follows it up and then kind of just taps him with a jab afterwards. That nose is getting tore up. All right, another jab lands, and then a little sneaky right body shot, and another jab upstairs. That jab is really messing with Truax. Truax on this front foot is getting battered. All right, Truax again backing him up, sends two soft jabs, a little right to the body. Plant's not affected, just stands there, doesn't even throw anything in the clinch. Another, oh, nice little right uppercut land for Truax, but he gets tagged with a little... Left hook off the guard and a uh, little jab off the guard at the end of round four lands for Plant. But, yeah, it's very one-sided for Plant. Um, I liked it from him. That jab, ooh, they just showed that. Ooh, that was very, very sneaky from him. But that – um, go ahead, sorry. Oh, no, you're good, man. Like you said, very one-sided fight, man. This might be the easiest fight to Caleb Plant career. This shit easy-ass fucking fight for him. Truax look like a whole different person now. His face starting to get busted up, nose bleeding. It might be even a goddamn cut around the eye area. I don't know, but that was the best, the best round for Caleb Plant. Yeah, I would have to agree with you, Black. There, he was. I mean, he was very, very. He he was. His timing was so on that round. I mean, what whether it was the lead left hook, you know, or you know that little straight downstairs and follow it up by that little sneaky uppercut that he likes to throw. It was still just so, so quick from him. 
and you can just yeah. see the blood all over his body from Truax because uh, I believe that uh, Plant has already broke his nose. This is start around five now, though. Truax again trying to get on this front foot, but it has not worked for him all round. Plant lands a nice little jab to the body, follows it up with an overhand right, doesn't land, and then comes to the left that's a little bit wild, sends out a jab upstairs, and both men exchange with two jabs to each other, and Plant sends out two more that aren't able to land, but ooh, one, two from Plant lands. Ooh, another little jab, stiff jab lands from him. You kind of see the face of Truax just kind of stagger as he comes in. All right, so Truex again on this front foot, but every time he comes in to land, there's not much on it, and Plant's just beating him with speed right now. Truex comes in, does land a nice little jab there, goes downstairs, but, man, Caleb Plant makes him look silly, dips under it and just sneaks out of the way, and it's back to the center of the ring, and he lands a nice little left hook upstairs. Now Truex comes with a two nice jabs, and, Tries to follow it up with an overhand right that was kind of sloppy. Comes forward, nice jab, but a big right hand just landed there from Caleb Plant. Not able to follow up with the left hook, though. Truex again comes forward, sends out two jabs. Back to the center of the ring. There's a minute 30 seconds left to go in this fight. Both men exchanging jabs right now. Truex still on this front foot, but ooh, left lead hook from Plant lands and then falls up with an uppercut and a right hand and another uppercut. Okay, that in turn, Truex, as he does, it, he needs to just continue with that. Keep that pressure up. Ooh, both men, when they send the jab at the same time, Plants is the one that is way harder. Okay, so both men get tangled up there. The ref, first time I think the refs had to separate them. Both men have done well this fight to work out of any type of clinch. Plant sends out a jab there, and Truex answers with one of his own, but Plant goes downstairs as he does so with a little jab. Ooh. So Plant's able to turn him nicely there, but he's not able to follow up with the right. That would have been ideal after he did so. Truex continues to back him up and land a nice jab, and then another one, but Plant's able to respond with two of his own. Another jab to the body, and... I, like I said in the beginning, before this fight started, those shoes are a problem for Truax. Looked like his shoe just gave out on him as that jab landed to the right. <laughs> Raggedy ass and shoes. Truax <laughs> comes forward with a little left hook. It was off the guard and one, two, and then a little sneaky little left to the body lands for Plant. Truax goes to the body with a nice right straight of his own, and Plant doubles up on the jab. That's the end of the round. Man. Yeah, Truex's nose is in some bad condition right now. Yeah, it's starting to kind of look like Caleb might just trying to get some rounds in, working on some stuff or whatnot, but this guy Truex got nothing, man. Nothing for Caleb, in my opinion. Three more rounds, man. There should be should be a cut or something or him getting the first knockdown, something. It's not looking good for Truex, though. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you there. Um, I'm, I'm a little disappointed with um, Plant not, you know, not being able to make Truax pay a little bit more. And now we we see that Plant is clearly the faster guy. He's, you know, he's got the skill set. He's able. He understands when to counter, but he's still a little bit hesitant. And that, you know, that's something that um, it may be just me seeing, but you know, it's something that you'd like to see him get over and just go to town on this guy. But he's not a fucking monster. He's not a fucking monster. You know not like... I'm a fucking monster! All right, start around six here. Plant starts it out with that little left jab upstairs that lands, sends out another one. It was off the guard. Truex again on this front foot, though. Sends out two jabs. N no, none of them land. Then he goes downstairs and kind of gets tangled up. Both men land shot to the body, and then ref separates here. Okay, so a nice little left to the body lands for Plant, and a nice right and a left land for Plant. A right was upstairs, and it was very nice. He needs to keep that up. Ooh, nice little uppercut, little counter uppercut as he was timing him on the way in. Snaps out that jab again. 
But again, tracks on the front foot, just sends out two jabs, one up or one to the chest area, one to the stomach area. They land another one to the chest area, lands for Truax, but Truax needs to maybe put that upstairs. Ooh, okay. So Plant lands a jab and Truax lands a jab and Plant goes downstairs and now upstairs with a jab and it's turning Truax's face as he does so. Truax still thinking that he can establish something on this front foot and Caleb Plant missed a big lead left hook there. Little jab upstairs lands and Truax comes with a one two and follows it up with another right, but it doesn't, it's off the guard again. Okay, nice little jab to the chest area lands for Truax. Plants not throwing much right now, kind of getting backed up to the ropes, dancing out of the way. Little jab and a left hook miss for Plant, but he follows it up with a two body jabs that land, and Truax is able to land one upstairs. Truax is starting to back them up here, and they get clinched up. Ref's going to separate them. Truax comes forward with two jabs upstairs. Plant's able to duck on drum and land a little left to the body as Truax has landed his own left. But, ooh, nice! Little uppercut landed there from Plant, and then he follows it up with a left hook to the body. Ooh, nice! Overhand straight lands for Plant. Truax, again, just comes forward, sending out the jab. Both men kind of pepper each other with one each. Truex is trying to do anything he can, but he's not able to set up much as he's coming in. He's got to learn that, you know, what his range is, you know, where to stop and try and set up his punch. Because, you know, exchanging jabs, I think we both can see here that with 12 seconds left, again, playing just pepper him with jabs. And now a little left hook that Truex's face is just getting messed up exchanging this. Nice jab lands, a little right to the body from plant. But again, it's just, you know, we've seen the same thing for the past three rounds. And right. uh, you know, plants. Oh yeah, man. That's a short shot too, man. That's not, there's not much on that at all, mm -mm. but that, you know, that's, you know, that's what's causing this. And it's just, you know, I guess repetitive. <laughs> you know, even though plant is winning the fight, I'm just not, super impressed you know what i mean like it looked like he low-key fading a little bit and he's not as sharp you know he's not as accurate with the shots man you know especially with a guy that's right there to be hit even though he's well ahead on the punch stats but i don't know i still see some things like when i'm looking comparing him to getting you know facing maybe a canal in the future i see a lot of holes so you know he's doing what he got to do to get this one but it's, All right. I don't know. Yeah, they're showing the corner right now, and they're doing their best to kind of work on this swelling on Truax. And of course, you know his his nose is pretty gone right now. He probably is not able to breathe much, if at all, through his nose. All right, to so start around seven here, Truax again on the front foot. Plant tags him with a little jab upstairs. Truax sends out two of his own, and Plant follows up with a little jab to the body. There, need to see something here. All right, nice jab to the body lands from Plant as Truex is coming in and peppers him with three more. Plant continues to be comfortable on this back foot, just timing him. Truex coming forward here, trying to get inside of Plant. He's not able to. Again, Plant lands a jab to the body. Now, okay, Truex landed a nice little jab upstairs. Plant. Jab misses, tries to go to the body with a right. Truex landed a nice jab upstairs there. Plant comes in with a little hook to the body. Doesn't land. The jab lands for him and then follows it up with a jab upstairs, followed by a quick little left hook. Ooh, nice. Little left hand there lands from Plant on the front foot. He just needs to stay on the front foot. I don't know why he's backing up. When he's on this front foot, he has success. I mean, not like he's not having success, but you know, Truax is the only reason he's landing is because Plant's not throwing. 
All right, Truex comes in. Little three punch combination. The uh, overhand right from Truex was nice to see. It's probably one of his best punches so far. Caleb Plant does land a nice jab to the body, and Truex again tags him twice to the chest with a jab. Comes with a little wild left hook that Plant's able to move out of the way of. Plant comes with a one two of his own. Land off the guard. Ooh, big jab land there from Plant again. It just snaps his head back, and then the two, and then one come from Plant that snaps his head back again. Trex tries to come in, but gets tagged twice by a jab there from Plant. All right, so Plant missed a little bit of a jab upstairs that Trex is able to take advantage of and land a nice little right to the body. 32 seconds left to go. Plant sends out two jabs at land and a little lazy right to the body from Truax, but he follows it up with a left jab and then a right to the body that misses, but he gets tagged by a jab from Plant as he does so, and then Plant comes in with another jab of his own. Another jab lands for Plant, and another one. And then a one-two. The overhand right, I believe, landed there. It may have been off the guard. Both Ben just exchanged jabs there jab and then a little right hook from Truax and that's the end of the round but yeah I think guys that we're just seeing the same yeah, thing yeah man it's just you know a lot of the same uh, Caleb Plant just target practice target practice at will I mean he I don't know how many jabs he landed in that last round but I mean the jab was there so Truax is you- coming in on a straight line it, it, it's not it's not something that, you know, is going to, like, make you say, hey, this is, you know, the best fight I've seen all year. But I guarantee you, if you're into stats, um, Plant's got a very big lead right now. And um, it, there's a very big gap as far as uh, punches landed. Uh, Truax has been on the front foot the entire fight, but has yet to establish, I believe, any round where he's landed more punches. Do you... Uh, would you disagree with that, Black? They said uh I saw the, the stat it said uh the most punches he's landed in one round is five. <laughs> so that's the most he's landed yeah. in one round. Is five I mean it yeah, he's on that front foot, but he's not able to set up anything. Okay, we've got the start of round eight here. Again, Truex comes out like we were just saying, starting on that front foot, sends out a jab, gets tagged by one from plant as he's doing so. Truex trying to get inside here, but Plant's, you know, just way too quick for Oh, nice overhand right, though, lands for Truex. I can tell that Plant didn't like that, and then Truex goes down to the body with a little hook. Okay, so, okay, this is what Truex needed. Truex comes forward with a little jab upstairs. Plant hasn't thrown anything since that big right hand from Truex and misses wildly with a right uppercut, but he does land another little hook to the body of his own. Now a little... Ooh, there's a little shoulder check there from, well, we won't call it, but it was a nice right hand from Plant, and then a 2-1. I mean that, a 2-1 landed for Plant. All right, so Truex trying to establish his front foot again, goes downstairs with a nice jab to the body, but Plant peppers him with two jabs and an overhand right. Truex comes forward only to get jabbed twice by plan as he does so. Okay, Truex throws out two jabs of his own. Still on the front foot here. Lands a nice jab to the body and then another right to the body. And that's, I mean, I, I've seen Plant kind of tangle up with him twice here. Wasn't able to be, you know, get out of the way like he was before with his feet. Now, oh, big left jab then. A nice right hand to the body land from Plant. Oh, Truex caught him again with that right. That overhand right from Truex is catching Plant. Oh, so Plant's trying to catch him with that left hook, but that's good work from Truex to kind of dip under that. So Truex still on the front foot, but he gets peppered there from a Plant jab. Another sneaky left hook from Plant lands. Big overhand right off the shoulder of Truex, and then Truex misses two big hooks to the body of his own. Plant on the front foot here, trying to come in, but immediately gives it up as Trex comes in. Trex is able to land two nice body shots and then follows it up with a jab upstairs, and now they get kind of tangled up here. 
Ooh, nice uppercut, and then follows it up with a left hook, Plant does, but gets tagged with two jabs. But now he goes downstairs with two hooks to the body. A little jab there from Plant, and then Truex comes forward with two jabs to the chest area. Both men exchange jabs. There's 12 seconds left to go in this eighth round. Plant comes forward, lands a jab again, and then, oh, nice one-two from Truex, but he gets tagged by a huge right hand from Plant. And then a left to the body. That's the end of the round. Man. Okay, so uh, that was Truex's best round. I don't I don't think he won that round. But I will say the, start, the way he started that, and he caught Plant twice. I gave him Truex. I gave it to Truex just because of the clean shots he landed. He That was the best round for him. He landed some clean-ass shots on Caleb, man. He walked right into a fucking right hand. And uh, that's just all because Caleb Plant, man, let this guy get into the fucking late rounds, and he's starting to fade a little bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, Truex is starting, is starting to get more accurate with the shots now. So, Plant. Yeah, man, so. Plant now he now he's got some it's some little concern. The longer the fight goes on, we're about to go into the ninth. It's gonna yeah, be this kind of speaks to what we were talking about earlier about you know Plant's the faster guy. He's got you know the better skills, but yeah, you know, he does seem a little bit hesitant. And uh, Truex landing those two rights, I believe it was that round. Um, kind of maybe shows something that Plant knew about him. Plant's shaking his head, though. Trex does look pretty bad. Or he's just start around nine. Both men meet in the center of the ring, and a Plant comes out on the front foot, lands a nice little hook to the body, and then a jab. But Trex answers back with two of his own and establishes that, hey, no, man, I'm on the front foot in this fight. Comes out with a jab that misses to the chest area. Again, just backing up Plant here. And, oh, big right hand. But it, it was to the chest area, and Plant's able to turn him around. Plant comes out of this and trying, okay, throws that straight and then follows it up with a jab. Searches out with that right hand that doesn't land, but he lands a nice left hand upstairs. Misses another one, okay, Truex does some version of a turn there, but gets tangled up and the ref separates. Ooh, nice jab there, lands for Plant, and then a one-two comes down the pipe for Plant. Backing him up here with another overhand right. Plant does, but Truax, again, just continues to come forward. Plant sends out two jabs, but again, two jabs land for Plant. Truax lands a little hook, though, to the chest area. Oh, nice jab there from Truax landed as he was getting tagged by Plant's jab. Oh, big right hand from Plant there after Truax threw a right hand of his own. Both of them landed, but Plant's was a little bit more, had a little bit more ump to it. Oh, nice little leap and hook there from Plant Landed. Not much on it, though, or two X isn't affected. Plant sends out two jabs. The first one landed very nicely. Now a one-two from Truex gets him caught with a left counter from Plant. Plant comes forward with a right straight that lands right down the middle. Okay, so Truex is backing up. This is what Plant needs. How many times is this ref going to get in the way? My God. So Truex comes forward, sends out that jab, and Plant a one-two. The two landed. This is what you want from Plant. Plant, just stay here. You need to finish this out. Oh. Okay, so Truex comes forward a little bit wild, kind of lunges in, gets tagged by Plant on the way out. Plant again beats him with the leaping little right straight, beats him to the punch, sends out the jab. It's the first time we've seen Plant on the front foot, and there's 39 seconds still left to go. So Truex is trying to come back. Both just land simultaneous jabs. Okay, so Trex landed a nice jab to the chest area. Okay, Trex still on this front foot. Nice one-two from Truax. That overhand right landed very flush for Truax. Okay, Plant's able to snap out that jab and connects. Both in the center of the ring. That was the 10-second mark right there. Plant sends out the jab that lands. Trex lands one of his own. Ooh, so he Trex tried to send out that overhand right at the end of that, but he, he didn't fully commit to it. But again, I think um I, I don't think Trex is gonna be able to continue to do this and win the fight, but I do like what I'm seeing from Truex as far as uh 
making it dirty. You know, he needs to do this. He needs to, you know, get on, try to get on the inside, you know, get those angles to where, you know, plant can't, you know, move out of the way. But go ahead, Black. What did you think? You think uh, Truex has won a round so far? I gave him um, not this last round, but the round before last. What was the uh, A for whatever? He made up. Caleb Plant made up for that last round, though. He made up for it. And he didn't get hit it with um, that many clean shots from the previous round. I think I seen one clean ass right hand get through for Truex in the last one. But other than that, it's been all the Caleb Plant show. But yeah. Um, and he's talking to him a little bit. You know, he's talking to him at the end of the round. So, I guess he might he might feel comfortable just going 12, man, and just, you know, feeling comfortable about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, man. All right. Yeah, this yeah. is going to be, what, the start of round 10 here. Truex, again, trying to establish this front foot. He comes forward, sends out two jabs, kind of gets tagged with one from plant to the chest area. But plant comes in with a one-two. Right down the middle again lands for him. All right, that right straight again lands for Plant. He falls up with a one-two that lands and sends out a jab afterwards. And nice, both men left land two left hooks. Yikes. Plant starting to back him up here with two jabs. Tries to follow it up with a right, but Truex is trying to come forward and yeah, break his coming. rhythm, and he does so. You know, jab, uh, Plant's able to jab on the way out of that, but Trex comes forward with two jabs of his own to the chest area, and everything Plant had established is just turned around on him. Plant sends out that right. Doesn't really land, and Trex comes in with a nice right. Big right hand from Truex landed. Plant sends out a one-two of his own. The two keeps going over Truex's head, though. Trex lands a nice little jab to the body there, and Plant answers back with a nice jab upstairs. Plant missed a jab upstairs. Trex again, still on this front foot. His nose still leaking blood, but he doesn't care. Big right hand downstairs for Truex, but Plant's able to answer back with a right of his own and sends out a jab to the body that may have landed a one-two and a nice lead left hook. Just landed for Plant, but you know, as soon as it staggered, Truex, he just comes right forward, sends out a jab, and he's able to get clinched up. Ooh. Okay, so he's doubling up. He goes to the a hook, a left hook to the body and one upstairs from Plant, and that works. And then he sends out an overhand right that lands. Plant is still on the back foot, but every time he comes forward, he does land. Lands a nice jab there. Truex is on the front foot again, and ooh, big left hand lands for Plant. Nice right hand from Truax lands. Kind of got playing on the ropes here. Ooh, big right hand from Truax follows it up with a left that landed for him. It was glancing, though. wasn't very flush. Ooh, nice jab there from Plant. Tries to come with the two. That was off the guard. Ooh. One, two, miss from Plant. Backing him up, though. Nice jab there from Plant. This is what Plant needs to do. All right, so Trax is able to tie up with them. Both men land a little bit of soft touches on the inside. Ref separates. There's 15 seconds left. Plant lands another nice jab to the body. Trax tries to come forward. It's not able to land much, though. Plant again lands a nice jab upstairs, follows it up with another one, and then a right straight, and then a couple hooks to the body and a left hook upstairs. That's the end of the round. So, yeah, I think um, this might be getting close to getting stopped here, Black. The uh, end of that round, I don't know if you saw that, but that's some very heavy breathing from Truex, and it's all from his mouth. He's not able to breathe through his nose. Yeah, man. Getting worse and worse for Truex. But uh, at the same time, I'm just looking at some things that Taylor Plant definitely going need to gonna need to correct. He keeping that left hand too fucking low. That's why them clean right hands keep getting through for Truex, even though he's getting completely dominated. Them right hands are getting through still on Caleb Plant, and I would have thought he would have been correcting that, you know, as the fight progressed. But he keep getting hit. With him. Move up and watch Caleb Plant. Mm. Yeah, it's not looking good, dog. I'm just being real. So I mean, he get he definitely went in this fight, but I'm sorry, this Caleb Plant. I could see quite a few guys getting him. Yeah, you know. 
Chu Act shouldn't be getting, hitting him so clean with them certain shots. He should really got this dude up out of there. I mean, what? Dude only landed, what, 30, 30 something punches? All right. So yeah. this is the start of round 11 here. Chu Act still, I mean, he's, he's bloody. He looks beaten, but he's still on the front foot and he lands a jab and plant answers back with a jab of his own, comes forward with a three punch combination. Think only the right land, but Trex answers right back with two nice jabs upstairs. Trex on the front foot, he gets tagged by a plant jab, but he answers back with a nice little jab of his own that caught plant while he was trying to move. Nice little right straight to the body there from Truax lands, and then you get kind of tangled up here. Plant sends out that jab that lands. Trex trying to come forward here. Plant missed a one, two of his own. The one was off the guard, but the two was again way too far above his head. Now Trex turns him around nicely after getting tagged with a little short left straight from Plant, but nothing gets achieved out of it. And both men to the center of the ring. Plant lands two jabs there. And now a one, two from Plant comes through. Trex, again on this front foot, isn't able to establish much. Plant misses a big right hand and then almost gets tackled by Truex there. Able to keep his feet, and the ref's not even needed. Both men just separate themselves. Plant sends out the jab. Truex tries to feign in, sends out two jabs, but they don't land. Jab lands for Plant. Nice little uh, right and left to the body from Truex there, though. A little one-two from Plant, and then follows it up with two hooks. The right hook landed flush. The left was a little bit off the guard. Truex again, though, just still on the front foot, but Plant's starting to circle a little bit more here. Comes in with a little uppercut with a looping left hook, but it didn't, it didn't work at all. But, man, that jab just continues to be a problem for Truex because Plant's just snapping his head back every time he sends it out. Trex throws out three jabs of his own. Two of them landed. Not much on him, though. Plant lands a nice jab upstairs. Trex goes to the chest area of Plant as he's backing him up here. Nice jab again lands for Plant and another one. Trex is able to trade one downstairs. And then a one-two from Truex, but he gets nailed by a big right hook from Plant. Very nice shot. Get tangled up there, and the ref separates. Now, a two kind of wild hooks there. One, the left was upstairs from Plant. That was a little better, but now Plant starts to pick up the pace. A little left and a right hook land, kind of stagger Truex back, and now overhand right misses, but he goes downstairs and upstairs. Plant does, and tags with a left hook upstairs. Okay, how's the end of the round? But uh, very nice work again. Um I mean, this was, a, I believe it was the third round that Plant did the similar thing that, you know, he, he he starts to be really aggressive and it looks great. And you just kind of think that maybe if you just continue that, you know, maybe earlier in the round, you can get this guy out of here. Mm -hmm. But here we are. We're about to go into the last and final round. It was a 12-round fight. We was thinking it was going to go no further than six rounds, but this man to let Truex get to the 12th. Yeah. So hey bro, but then I say this, they not say this but but before before the fight though, then I say you know Truax might you know might do something like this. Yep, Maybe. you're right. You did say that. You said that, and then that young Bill guy said that uh Truax was in phenomenal shape. He said he had been speaking to some people that were close to him, but uh yeah, he said Truax was in great shape. Yeah. So yeah, but I think, young Bill, I think young Bill picked Truax to win, so yeah, that's a fail. So but, you know, shout out to him for being able to take – he could take a punch. All right, this and, is uh, the last yeah. round. Truax, again, this is no different from the previous 11. He starts out on the front foot, sends out a jab, and Plant misses a big left hook, but then he answers back with a little left straight and then a right and starts to tag him with a little left uppercut and kind of get tagged up here. And, okay, Plant's letting his hands go. They're kind of tied up right now. Nice overhand right from Truax lands. This is what we want from Plant. Plant can really, really – Okay, so he sends out a jab and a right uppercut to the – it didn't really land. Truex answers back with a one-two of his own. The two is to the body that landed, and Plant 
goes to the downstairs with a jab and upstairs. And now a one-two from Plant backs Truex up and another two-one from Plant. Misses on the third exchange of the exact same combination. Sends out a jab, though, afterwards it lands, and both men just land jabs again. Plant lands a jab, and Truex answers right back. Truex still on this front foot, though. Ooh, nice three-punch combination comes down from Plant, and then a big right hand to the body from Plant, and Truex tries to answer his back with a little sloppy right upstairs. Plant sends that left hook, but it doesn't land. He Settles for a jab that lands, lands another one as Truex lands one to the chest area again. Plant a nice jab to the body and one upstairs. Truex landed one of his own. Okay, so they both get kind of tangled up here. Ref separates them. A minute, 20 seconds left to go in this fight. Plant lands a nice little jab upstairs. Here comes Truex. Ooh, nice right to the body from Truex and Lands a left afterwards, but Plant turns him around nicely and a couple of hooks to the body and two huge left hooks upstairs. Trax is fighting out of the corner right now. Plant comes forward. He's just throwing a flurry of combinations right now, but Truax just comes forward like the warrior is. He's not affected by it. There's 48 seconds left to go and a nice overhand right lands for Truax and Plant's looking a little tired here. And again, Truax for 12 rounds. Has managed to land or has managed to stay on this front foot against what many have called a bully fighter. So Truax again on the front foot, but gets tagged twice with a jab and then an overhand right and then follows it up with another jab that he's tagged by. And he's only able to land a jab, a very soft jab to the body. Camp. All right. So a nice one two from plant there. There's 10 seconds left to go. If anybody's going to do something, do it now. Nice one-two from Plant, but Truex answers right back with a little overhand right of his own. And that will be the last punch that was thrown in this fight. So um, I don't think it's uh, going to be very hard for the judges, but I just want to say that uh, Truex did a very good job. He just went to war with a champion, and, uh, I mean, he gave it his all. And he stayed in there the entire time while getting um, what most would call a battery. Man, I was mm -hmm. I was afraid this was gonna happen, man. Cause I initially I had picked uh Caleb by seventh round knockout, but I was like, man, it'd just be my luck that a fucking uh a real good Caleb Trewax going in to go all twelve. <laughs> yeah, well, you're not far out from that um angel or actual I actually uh picked the uh, eighth round for plant. So I didn't yeah. win anything off of that, but uh, I'll be back in like five minutes. I got to use the restroom black. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, man. But I was like, man, fuck man. He go fuck around, show up and then fucking give plant the fucking a good fight, but they're going to give it a plant though. You know, plan a win, just not the way he's supposed to or expected to, you know, so so staying there, uh, actual. How do you rate his overall performance, Caleb Plant? That is, that's it's like a B. It's like a B, man. B minus. So rate rate like offense. Okay, offense. How would you would you rate offense tonight? That was like seven and a half. You know, okay. out of ten. What about his defense? Caleb Truax is not like you good with your defense. You you don't get hit by Caleb Truax like that. You know what I mean? Especially an older, older, slower fighter. So and dimensionally looks smaller. So um, yeah, nah, man. I was like a six. Six. Yeah. Yeah, like a six. I mean, yeah, he was evading the shots, but then, you know, he was getting hit. Getting hit by a slower guy, older guy, you know? That's exactly what I was seeing, bro. I'm like, man, this dude is slow. You you know, I seen him starting to fade. He was getting hit by the same, that right hand. He kept leaving his left hand super low. 
I was like, man, seeing somebody yeah. else sharp. Yeah. I, you know, I'm or, or the monster right here. You know what I'm saying? Eddie Monster right here. Or Charlo, you know, move up in 168 of them. Eddie Monster, monster you know, right they're going to eat the plants. They're going to eat them plants. The <laughs> lion's gonna eat the plant. The monster's gonna eat the plant. You know what I'm saying? They gonna eat this plant. You grew real slow. You sprouted a little bit. You grew real, you know, a couple slow, but eventually, you know what I'm saying? You fool. <laughs> you know, about to get digestive promotions out here, you know? Right. Vegan promotions. <laughs> Vegan right. promotions. Plant diet. But uh, Plant racked up a lot of shots on uh, Truax Dome piece. Uh, 12% landed for Truax, 42% connect for Caleb Plant. Out of 297 thrown and 124 landed. Uh, so I, was expected, I was expected to get on the old the old Truax battle axe, man. That's, that, that dude, you know, he's been around. So, But damn, man, you, you know, 12 I rounds. Plant, I don't see Plant beating Billy Joe or, or Canelo. Nor Benavidez, nor yeah, man, he's at the bottom. I mean, he got a belt, but I don't. He he's not all that good to me. Plant versus Eubanks next. Eubanks move back up to one sixty eight. I give Eubanks a good chance. Like I give Eubanks a good chance. I'm not no cap, bro. I give Eubanks a good chance versus Caleb. Oh, I like 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 Truex. Truex was trying to box him, man. And it's like, what are you doing? You get right. hit anyway. You might as well let your hands go. Yeah, and there was it. no urgency in Truex corner through the whole. Nope. Thing. It, it's like it's like yo, that's what I would have been telling my fighter. Look, he punching you anyway. You might as well mm -hmm. let your hands go. I mean, this man was just like trying to box him. There was moments when he would just let this man just rest on the ropes and shit, and then he'd get off. I'm like, he could have got off twice then, you know, but he just didn't. He was just. Uh, I, I think I think his corners a lot to blame with it for it because. Um, I mean, I know he got the experience, and he should probably know, but sometimes that's what your corner there for is to let you know, look, man, get in there and go for the gusto, not wait to the 12 and go, you know what you need to do now. Yeah. It's like, man, you let this shit slip. Like, y'all just as much to blame for than he is. He's out there trying to box him. Like, what? Yeah. why he hesitant? Like, like you got to be on top of him, man, and, le and let him know, like, he, he – you know he's gonna get busted up. You know the man go go get hit. He stayed getting hit. Just let your hands go. What you got to lose? You know what I'm saying? You already get punched in the face. I couldn't agree more, uh, more one two kid. I mean, if if we didn't have all the commotion that we had this past, you know, um, pandemic and everything like that, about you know maybe you know Plant was the best choice um, aside from Callum Smith or whatnot, but. Man, after tonight, Callum Smith is leagues ahead of this guy. Him. <laughs> I mean, what, what what type of like what I noticed is when he would let like uh he would just let Truex get off sometimes, you know. But he'd just be sitting there and he'd take breaks. Don't get me wrong; he was a bit more active in this fight. He showed me he had stamina, but there's times where he just is too laxed in there. Yeah. I'm not trying to you know downplay his win, but uh, you know, I'm a critic, man. I'm gonna critique the man. That's what I'm saying. So, so the imagine is definitely there, man. So it, imagine it, a fight with a, with a high intensity fighter like uh, uh, Chris Eubanks, who fought, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. uh, you know, Saint Saint uh, Saint Pierre, whatever. Not Saint Pierre. Uh, what's the name? You know, what I'm talking about over there in England. Uh. In England, he fought him over there in in, in Britain or whatever. Um, damn it, I forgot his name. Whatever. Who fought him though? Uh, Eubanks Jr. Yeah, Eubanks Jr. He fought what's the name? Not Billy Joe, but I mean he fought oh, Billy I mean, Joe. Yeah. Was it the Super Series? In the Super Series, he fought the other dude. Yeah, the other dude had a receding hairline, right? Wait, yeah, I mean, yeah. What are you talking about? I forgot his name. Yeah. Um, It'll come back to me. But oh, they doing this little post fight interview. Caleb Hold on, real Smith. Quick. I'm Caleb Smith. Yo, I didn't hear it. Um, did I, I assume he got the unanimous decision though, correct? Yeah, yeah, he got the UD. 
Okay. I was just making sure. But Kalen Smith fought that dude, you know, in the Super Series, too, and beat him. You know? So. Yeah, this was – um. This was a little bit uh, shortchanged um, from Caleb Plant. I'm not going to lie. I, I expected more out of him. I think he had it, too. Like, you know, um, his, his name is Sweet Hands or whatnot. And, um, you know, he was. He was very skilled. He was very, very crafty with his hands. He had a lot of nice combinations. But he would never follow through with them. He'd set them up. But, you know, he would just only to back off. So, um I don't know. Kudos to Truex for, you know, keeping this guy at bay. But at the same time, from now on, if you hear anything but concrete hands, it's just a fluke. Yeah, I think I think he looks sharp tonight. But like uh, like I said, man, he's a little his defense. It's like he's either fighting or he's not. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all get what I'm saying. Like there's moments where he just does nothing he just he just postures like he's doing something like i when he got eight when he ate the three jabs in a row i was like how that happened like he just fell asleep for a second then when he would eat the right hands he just kind of fall asleep and uh i'm not saying that i i, I feel like whenever he really let his hands go with intention he landed truex but hey, when, he wouldn't let off he wouldn't let nothing go. My bad, fellas. I had a mute, but I was listening to his post-fight interview. That man is not ready for no damn Canelo Alvarez, bro. That man was looking around. They was, him, they was asking him who's next. Um, and he was just saying, you know, he wanted to be the first uh, undisputed champion at 168. And he was like, whoever that is, you know, line him up. I'll knock him down. When they kept asking about Canelo, man, he was like, this, is that what you're looking for next? He said, well, like I said, you know, I want to be the first undisputed champion, and uh, we're going to do it right here on Fox. And that man is not ready for no goddamn Canelo. He don't sound he's like not, a guy who confidence to unify. He's not even ready for the monster. Monster Belanga. You don't want that Belanga work either. Hey, what happened to them fighters to be like, who you want next? Anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Put him in front of me. I knocks him down. Fuck them all. Like kick it to hell, motherfucker. Like that. That's that's what you want to hear. I don't care who it is, and then start dropping everybody' name. Bring them, you know. And it's just like you know, yeah, man. It's ah, the dude got skills, but you know, I I don't want to downplay his performance, but I I feel like if that was a guy, I don't know. I think, ah, damn. Like he, I think he froze dude Truex with his skill set to where every time Truex would get him in a corner, he thought like he was probably convinced he was being set up. But why is he thinking like like I don't know, man? Like his corner should have been telling that motherfucker to just go for it. You know, let your hands go. He should have had a. <laughs> yeah, he was there to collect the check, but yeah. he didn't. Yeah, I agree one too good. And like I, you know, said beforehand and like you were saying that, you know, it was there for him. If he would just let his hands go a little bit more, you know, this fight could have been over a lot sooner. But um, you know, again, you know, we've got to give credit to Truax. You know, he stayed in there that whole time and he was leaking since you know, I, I don't know that, you know, he was able to breathe out his nose since the fourth round. I think we can all agree that Caleb Truax showed that Caleb Plant truly lacks the ability to be a real monster like me uh, you know monster I, I think he's, I that think plant he, diet. yeah i think he's sharp but you know uh I, I think he's just more of a boxer like i don't think i think the power is uh keeps guys honest but it ain't really nothing on it you know what i'm saying like for those bigger guys i think like if that was a benavidez he can't break nobody down with his power. Like, not like that. I, I think he gets stopped, man. Yeah, I think. Well, let's, bro. let's be let's be one hundred percent real here. Truex is not a big guy. He's actually kind of small, and I, I say small because he's a little bit older now, and you know he's not as thick as he once was. But my goodness, there's no reason Plant should have been on his back foot that entire time. Yeah, right. 
Right. And you were saying it during the commentary, like, you know, when he come forward, he have the success. But then they say, you know, he'll back up and he'll get caught with a silly ass jab or get caught with the right hand with his left hand low and shit. Like, what are you doing? Dog? Like, I don't know. He, he's just, I'm not that impressed with no damn Caleb Plant. So I wish that one dude would come back, Marcus Lewis, talk about this number one pound for pound shit, bro. I don't see it. Yeah. I don't see that shit at all, bro. I don't see him in the number five, number six, number seven, number eight. He's not even in my stratosphere of pound for pound fighters at all. Yo, who but, is that fighter that was fighting for his citizenship at 135? Y'all know who I'm talking about? Yeah, you talking about... He looked just like Truex. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, the guy name? that lost his like debut fight, and he was supposed to be the truth or whatnot. Mm -mm. Now nah, this dude, he, I think he fought. Uh, I think he fought. Um, I think he fought Crawford. He fought Crawford. You talking about the Mexican? Yeah. Crawford yeah. beat his ass. Um, damn, what's the motherfucker? Yeah, he, name? Was, he had a good left hook though. Yeah, but he looked not. just like Truex. Like, like <laughs> they, they look exactly like. I'm trying to think of his name. Yeah, they man. both got big ass heads and always get cut. Yup. And I was saying that he should fight Easter at that time to try to unify. Those two should uh, try to unify to get the the big name fight. And, and that, that's that's funny. I can't think of dude's name, but he's literally a miniature version of Truex. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. When I think All right, going. so I asked it at the beginning of the fight, and I'm going to ask it now. Did Caleb Plant do enough for you guys to say that, hey, this guy is a serious problem at 168? Absolutely nope. not. Nah. Nope. Not Absolutely at all. Not. Yeah, for, for the first six rounds, he's a serious problem. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. Serious. You're going to look he's decent. Serious. He's a serious trouble. He's uh he's not gonna be holding he's on to that. Serious trouble. <laughs> he's, serious, he's not gonna be with that belt. That, that belt's gonna part ways from, from his hands. So, <laughs> so from the fuck out. Divorce <laughs> test the, from that belt. Yeah. Ain't gonna ain't gonna last, you know. Beltron name. Ray Beltron. Ray Beltron, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. could you imagine Canelo versus him though? Like, let's be serious here. That would be so one-sided. Bro, he'll get hey man. Caleb Plant, his face will be he wouldn't look he wouldn't look the same. Uh, he he'll, he'll be he'll be peppered up. Canelo walk him down, bro. Canelo walk him down again. Stop that dude. That's one thing that Plant does have going for him is his footwork. And he is able to, you know, turn guys very well and he's able to, you know, not get caught into these angles that are gonna be unsuccessful for him, but I mean, if there is any man that has proven to us after fight after fight that, you know, angles don't matter, that's Canelo. So, yeah, Plant, um, you, you've got you got to go back to the building block, man. You've got to reinvent that style. But even when you talk about his footwork, it's only looked good for like the first four rounds. And then he right there, he right there in front of you and slow ass, um, you know. Slow, slow ass Caleb Truax was able to catch him with the same shots over and over. I'm like, damn. Even though it wasn't a whole lot, but it'll be certain shots, clean ass shots that'll snap his head back straight right. That right hand is open. Yeah. The, right. Yeah. Another thing that is really concerning is, you know, Truax has been stopped before. And, you know, you're supposed to be one of the bigger guys at 168 that, um, you know, could possibly pose a threat to these guys, but. I don't see it, man, and uh, your power's not proven it. Yeah, man. But great commentary, man. Thank you for that. Um, I didn't hear a damn shred of commentary from uh, Brian Kenny, Sean Porter, and them with that powder blue suit. And, you know, I don't Thank you, man. I know you didn't have to do this, and I know that, you know, you, you guys probably could, you know, do this on your own, but I appreciate you doing this for me, Black. Oh, I wasn't doing shit, man. Anyway, I just wanted to watch the fight. You know what I mean? And uh, you know what I'm saying? They everybody enjoys your commentary, man. So, mm -hmm. you know, hey, good. I mean, it wasn't I ain't gonna say a great night of fights. I want to say congratulations to Coffee, though. That should have been the main event. Yeah, yeah, man. That was a very, very good uh performance from him. Good exactly. for actual sorry. Exactly what I thought he was gonna do to that guy, because you know, that guy, uh Rock, the Rock Nation uh fighter, right? <laughs> 
Oh, he is? Yeah, he's a Rock Nation fighter, and a lot of my guys in, in New York talking about, yo, yeah, Rock is going to sleep that dude. Da, da, da. What are the odds a man with last name Rock sign with Rock Nation and shit? Right? Okay. Right? I'm like, man, that old fucking old mustard <laughs> ball, sloppy-ass, mud-soggy-ass ball-looking dude is going to get knocked the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, that shit was terrible. Bro. Yeah, that's like how, a, I was curious. When he came in, I'm like, is that what he looked like all the time? Yeah, I remember you asked that shit. <laughs> he looked like Damon Wayans in that one movie. Uh, what do you what do you fought uh that one white dude? He was like, you the trying great to white how you <laughs> remember how his shape he came in? He didn't even work out. He came in with the belly and shit. Yeah, folds. Yeah, bro. He came in looking like like that. Got his ass whooped. I mean, shout out to the uppercuts, man. Uppercut KOs. I don't know what it is, man, but coffee. Puppy season. Puppy <laughs> season. Yeah, Spencer yeah. and coffee got some pretty good uh, build-up Joey fight, too. Man. Yeah, shout out to Joey with the first round KO, man. He, he beat the shit out of uh, Isaiah Sheldon. That was his name. Oh, Isaiah look Sheldon. who it is. Lisa stepping in. Late Lisa. as hell. <laughs> What's happening, Lisa? She might have yeah, some That was words, just a man. joke. She might have a few words to come come through to say something. Then we'll shut it down. But uh, yeah, it wasn't shit else. Did we miss any other fights on a different platform other than Fox? Were any other fights? Yeah, there was some on fight, you know, the fight TV or whatnot. But oh yeah, we won't get into that. Lisa, you telling the truth? That was a boring ass fucking fight. Shit, if it was for one uh, sporting advantage with the commentary, I would probably been knocked out. Sleep. <laughs> that shit. That's one thing I do want to stress is, you know, no matter who you are, I don't care if you, you know, if, if I'm calling an amateur fight, you know, I'm going to do my best to make sure that I make you look as good as possible. Like, and it's not just being biased. That's just, you know, you know, the job that I feel that every commentator should do. So um, right. I appreciate you guys always allowing me to do this. But um, also, it's not. It's not to be one-sided or biased or anything. It's just, you know, I want to be fair. Nah, you do a good job. You just you real optimistic job, into it. You bring a lot of, you know what I mean? You bring a lot of energy to it, a lot of positive energy. So that's that's a good thing. You know wrong with that. Go. There she go. Hey. Lisa, what's going on? Hey, I was on another live and um I was listening to them, but then I put the fight on. Um, how's everybody doing? Yeah, you know what? That fight is not going to prepare him for a uh, Canelo. He gonna get his ass beat. Oh, huh? That yeah. is, man. That's the first thing I thought about the entire. I think it was from the like one two kid said from the six round on. I was just like, God dang, Canelo's going to beat his ass. Mm hmm. Don't get me wrong. He's a talented guy, and he's, you know, he's a nice boxer, you know. But um. You know, like they said, there's levels to this. And um, I always thought that he should have fought Benavidez already. Or they could have been on their second fight. Benavidez would be the shit out of him. That shit would be yeah. really close. Y'all agree, though? Tra um, Caleb Tracks look just like Ray Beltran? Yes. <laughs> yes, he does. You <laughs> Good observation. I mean, exactly yeah. like him. Like, he just, like... Went to a do a clone, and they were like, "We got a smaller version right here." <laughs> yeah, he said, yeah. "We go make a smaller version of you, put him at one thirty-five. <laughs> he can have a good right hand, though, not a left hook." <laughs> right. I'm I'm be honest with y'all. I think Billy Joe Sanders may give uh, Canelo more issues than on um, Plant. I, I agree. I got Billy Joe beating Caleb Plant. I got Canelo beating Caleb Plant. I got David Benavidez beating Plant. Man, goddamn Blair the Flair probably go up and beat it. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, man. He got the power to keep these dudes honest. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't think he got enough power to keep him off him. Uh, I think dude just got fr I don't know what Trucks was thinking, man. I, I know his fucking corner was just, just I don't know. They was half sleep. Like, <laughs> yeah, they yeah. was falling asleep while we. They, they must be part like getting us. that part time pay, man. Like, 
yeah. I'd have been like, fuck it, you're getting punched in the face anyway. Let him go. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. So, so Caleb, the weakest link. Is he the weak link? 68? So, mm-hmm. I don't know. Black, I don't know, because I don't know what, uh, what Danny Miami Vice Jacobs is on. <laughs> yeah, you right. That Jacob motherfucker. He got the well, Lisa. He got the gift victory over uh Gabriel Rosado. The gift. Victory. Yeah, yeah. He enjoying. I, I heard he dating uh Reverend Run's daughter. You know. Uh, oh, well, yeah. You know, and the Gucci loafers, and uh, he living the life. You know. Yo, he's turned Hollywood for sure. I hope yeah. they don't ever fight. That'll be the most boring fight. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody Ooh. knows. Daniel Jacobs and Plant. A Plant. Yeah, that shit would be. Nobody want to see that shit. Oh Mm-mm. man. So do y'all think that he would even have a chance against a Benavides? No. Man, Mm-mm. I don't even think steroids can help him right now. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna get his ass whooped, bro, by David Benavides. Oh, he gonna get that. He just got some nice combinations. He nice. Yeah, he got good left hand. Like I, I noticed yeah. that when he could he could change he could change direction when he threw the uppercut and then he threw the the um the hook right off of it. I mean, I think he gets his combinations off real crispy, but um I just feel like there's a time where he just is like frozen in time. You know what I mean? Where he just don't do nothing. He just postures, tries to look the mark, and I think uh a true like 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 a great A guy would take full advantage of that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Hey, they not- man. Oh, go ahead, Lisa. No, I was gonna say a fighter is like a uh, like a, any type of machine. It has to be, you know, oiled and um, taken care of. So, you know, um, when they're not when they're sitting around, they dry rot. You know, they get rusty. Mm-hmm. You know, so they gotta be. You know, they gotta be fluid, and they gotta. Uh, Perform on all cylinders to their best, so they have to fight a little more often to be at their A game. Or else they're gonna be crying. He did beat Trax ass though. Who? <laughs> he did. Yeah, he but did like one kid. Yeah, like one yeah, kid. True ass. ass. My bad. I told y'all, yeah. Caleb was true ass before the fight started. <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all, hey, hey, but uh. I tell you like this, man. This dude, Caleb, man. Golly. Y'all go ahead, man. I'm not gonna give him that much money. Just what it is. Shout out to him. I know. I was just gonna say, um, like one two kid was saying, man, he's gotta figure out, you know, how to hit fourth gear before he ever gets into fifth. So yeah, he's (laughs) gotta he's gotta find, you know, he's gotta do some soul searching, man, because timid is not, you know, I don't care how much skill you have. I don't. I don't care how sweet your hands are. Timid is something you can smell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. I was going. What, what I was going to say was: Is this the, his best opponent in his last three fights? Like, who is this? Because he ain't been really fighting nobody like that. The best person he fought was Uskateski. And how many fights back was that? Like, three, that four. Was a while. That was a oh. while, but it was more competitive, you know. Yeah. Ukateski right. was throwing punches. <laughs> so since yeah. he's become champion over Us- Uskateski, this is his best opponent since then? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. no. That's terrible, bro. Because he fought Mike Lee. Mike Lee was like, shit. <laughs> Mike Lee was that guy, I guess, some, from somewhere that deserved that shot. He was shit with sprinkles on it. Yeah. yeah, and Fagan boot. Fagan boot. Fagan boot. <laughs> what the hell was that? I don't know. I, I remember Fagan before. boot. Fagan boots. Yeah. <laughs> because I think I think they were marinating, trying to marinate a super fight between him and <laughs> the weirdest the young, people. The True young ass young. Fagan boots. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Stupid it who's got the geese and shit, man. Damn. You <laughs> dug a boot right? A fagin boot. <laughs> <laughs> <Damn that. laughs> 
<laughs> Chew has got the most ass. I mean, Play got the most ass resume ever. Man. Yeah, they should have been in there with the one sixty eight. Don't have the best people, but uh, other than Canelo, I mean, he the the top guy there. But I'm just saying, you know. Other than I don't, than, who, I don't know who you lost to. This man best. Man, who you who you beat to get the belt? Nigga, who's got the gee, homie? Like what? Figgy boots. <laughs> <laughs> beat his ass. Yeah, that's what we should have asked Marcus earlier. It's like, what makes him number one pound for pound? He beats oh, Mike Lee. That's what makes him number one. <laughs> you think Benavidez should just say fuck 168, move up to 175 because he ain't going to get no fights at 168. Who, who don't want him. Uh, uh, you know, uh, Canelo ain't going to fight him. So you mm -mm. think he should just say the hell with 168 and move to 175? Mm, maybe. Canelo not going to fight who? Benavidez. You think Benavidez, oh. he, he ain't going to get no fight at 168 now. Yeah, dog. Not without that title. You think he should just leave 168 and say fuck it and just take his career in his own hands? Yeah, that's a weird situation for Benavidez, bro. That's an awkward spot. Yeah. WBC took a major league crap on him. <laughs> Hell yeah, dog. That's yeah. fucked up. I mean, they, uh, maybe they just got tired of the shit. Like, nigga, okay, coke, and now you overweight. We can't deal with this shit. That's okay. right. But I'm saying that if he having trouble making it weight and he know he it, it, no one talking like they want to even fight this guy. And and don't get me wrong, I mean it, it, it's, it's, man? it's no it's, nah. What I'm trying to say is I know he ain't helping himself with his issues, but the motherfucker could fight. Yeah, you know, know. yeah. So I mean, yeah. why even stick around at 168 and keep you're not gonna get a shot at any of these guys. Why don't you just move up and just say the hell with him because you just gonna be stuck in that in that limbo. That's easier right. said than done, though. One, two. You talking about go yeah. ahead and move up? But well, no, I know it's dangerous moves. up there. I mean, but it, he ain't he ain't got just run in there and fight a champion. Yeah, one, two. You got to give people yeah. a chance, right. man. Damn, man, you just be trying to just mess up everybody. <laughs> you trying to end careers and shit. He no, got like he got a cruiserweight frame to me. This and there's steps to this. All right, baby, come on now. Would you say? Would you say Rome? Rome wasn't built in a day, right? Yeah, Rome, Rome wasn't built. Any <laughs> <a day. laughs> dynasty was built in yeah, a day. I'll tell you one thing: Rome wasn't built in a day, but it fell in a day. That man said. That man also said. He said Rolex is what made in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Yeah, bro. Say take time. But, yeah, man. Benavidez, man. Best of luck to him. I don't know what's gonna happen, and I don't yeah. think, I don't think Kayla Plant will uh, entertain a fight, especially with him not having a belt. Mm hmm. You know, so I don't know, man. I, I just don't see who in any of the top names. Sixty-eight. I think uh, Plant, if he wanted to keep his belt, stay away from them. Mm hmm. And work on it. Well, he's, I mean, fighting, um, he's fighting. Who's fighting Canelo next? Is it Plant or no? It's Abby. your group. Oh, oh yeah. Yo, Yo, and Billy Joe Saunders. Yeah, like Billy Joe. So Plant so, so, will be the last one. Okay. I back to back, back to back PED cheats. Go the way. If Plant's still boxing at the end of those two fights, then yeah, he might get a shot. Shit. That man, act like he didn't even want to. Maybe I'm being a little too rough. I need to rewatch it or something. But that was, man, that was bad. That was that was not what I expected. That was true ass. No, Caleb True X. That man, Ooh. mate, he, he went to he went the distance with Caleb Plant. Who's the man though next for a uh, Caleb Plant? Right, ain't no unification. It's gonna be another unif another damn man though they gonna order. Mandalorian. Uh, I mean, I think Halfway was right, man. Those cups, yeah, they may have had, you know, added a little too much weight earlier or something. I don't know. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Who's next for the sweet one? 
Who's next know. in line for sweet hands? <laughs> Bro, I think after the seventh round. For that picture. And I mean, I know, I mean, like I said, man, they did an awesome job on the promo. Even for Truax, they did a great job. But I mean, I I don't know if they're gonna make their money back on it. Right. Well, I mean, it's, 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 they promoting the uh the upcoming Canelo fight, so they're gonna put a little money into it, you know what I mean? Because they'll probably get it back, you know. Yeah. yeah, that's interesting that um, when I asked Black, like, what they said in the uh, after, um, you know, thoughts or whatnot with uh, Plant, and he, you know, they, they were asking him about Canelo is what uh, Black was saying. And I find that interesting that, you know, they are still, you know, trying to bring that up to almost kind of like align mm-hmm. themselves or attach themselves to, hey, yo, we, we want a shot, you know. Yeah, but Plant was, Plant was kind of low key trying to slip in there. Like, yep, it's got to be over here though. They got to tap. Fox. They're trying to tap some shells and shoot their shot right here. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I, I think they, they, they offered him a three fight deal, Canelo, but he didn't take it. PBC, yeah. I had saw that. Yeah, I think um, the dude that was on earlier, Marcus Lewis, said that Canelo turned it down because. Jamal was on the part of the contract. Yeah. And because uh Sweet Hands was on the contract and he was pound for pound. <laughs> pound for pound. No more pound for pound. Yeah, you got a dude in Dallas talking about he was like, believe it or not, I got game to play. That one pound for pound. <laughs> The way he paused, too, like it was about to be some mm-hmm. like great fighter, and then I was just like, oh, <laughs> okay. Fair warning. He was like, I know I'm probably gonna get some hate for this. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. He was like, he was like, man, just don't flame. Mm. Well, believe it or not, we were I shocked. It, it was it wasn't it wasn't no flame coming his way because we was like, you kidding, right? I thought he was trolling. right. I couldn't believe it. I didn't. It was just like it. more like all the names I expected him to name. It just I, I didn't expect Plant. I mean, it's nothing to do with like you know whatever. It's just like I did not see him saying Plant as top two you know best fighters in boxing. He's gonna he's gonna duck us for about a couple of weeks. Left field promotions. <laughs> no, we've ready. all been there, man. <laughs> I mean, I was there not too long ago with Roy Jones Jr. and Mike Tyson. You know. I, I mean, I know they call it a draw, but we're not stupid. Mike won that fight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they both got a WBC title. <laughs> mm-hmm. They just be giving them motherfuckers out. We got baby titles, mm-hmm. little baby, baby titles. <laughs> as long I as think next- WBA is another one that's. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the latest news is they got desanctioned, Lisa, by WBN, which is some kind of offshoot. Uh, he, you know, it's a website. All right, no, since we're gonna just talk wildly, the WBN is that website that always like proclaims something that they heard from freaking their little brother talking as its actual facts. Sorry, we're about the news. Yeah, man, they always do that shit. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, who, I don't who, believe who? nothing they say half the time. Nothing. Never even heard of them. The WBN. Somebody, like, who gets their world news from World Boxing News? Nobody. I don't ever go well, who, who has the best uh, boxing news that's that's like down the middle? What you do you Actual pull up, um, pull up that um, Haney's dad's picture that you just had up. Oh, yeah. that's that's who I've always, um, you know, before I even met any of, you know, you guys or anything, I would always go to their website and stuff like that. But they're super old school. But that 3KB, um, I know it's not, you know, oh. UK. Side. Oh, yeah, I know them. I know them. They're good. Yeah, those are they're good. People. They're down to earth, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, Tony, reviews, Tony Review says plant is trash. <laughs> <laughs> is that the headline now, man? You know, everybody convinced uh, Caleb Plant, even with his dominant unanimous decision victory, 
you know, trash. <laughs> See, Tony just needed to be here earlier to realize that him and uh, Haplo think alike because Haplo was dog and plant before the fight, and it was just off of his appearance. Mm-hmm. <laughs> plant, plant one, one of few dudes like, man, how was he performing? Oh, he had a B performance. Haplo's dog, and every, yeah. Haplo's dog and everybody appearance. <laughs> Flabby fighters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the one thing Haplo and Tony can can uh, agree on. <laughs> right. He said, I'm well, this, ain't the, right. this ain't the same 168 division like when when Ward, like the Super 6. Oh, Those hell guys no. Oh, Everybody dude. in that was, they were good. You know what? About that Benavidez comment I made? Yo, 175 got some fighters in there. Maybe it ain't a good idea. I, I was know. gonna say one two kid. I know you're very hype on somebody at 175, and you know that's not happening. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's two. There's a lot. There's a lot of. Yeah, man. There's there's a there's a lot of Bivol, Viterbiev, Joe Smith ain't no joke Joe either. Overlap steroid using that. You got Gene Pascal. Yeah, shit, you, you still got shit. Be hop if you come back. <laughs> oh, God. All right, I so haven't seen Marcus Brown since he lost the fight. Brown, yeah. right, right. right. Pascal. Pascal put his ass <laughs> this is depression. Yeah. <laughs> Beat the beat the uh, reality into that man. <laughs> I'm saying though, I, I don't think it would hurt 175. I think it make uh, 175 a little more interesting. You know what I'm saying? With a Benavidez there, I think it'll it'll build it up. You know what I'm saying? Might be one of the biggest names there if you go up. Maybe, yeah. Now, do cruiserweight still exist, or is it called bridgeweight now? Cruiserweight still exists. Bridge, bridge is right to... above it. Okay, so when is when is this first Bridger weight fight gonna happen? As soon as Deontay Wilder decides to <laughs> I knew he was gonna say that. <laughs> he gonna be the headline promoter. He, if he's not down with it, I don't think they're gonna do it though. You know, I don't know why Usyk didn't take that opportunity to really propel himself. Because I mean, how how hard would it be for him to become undisputed at Bridger weight? It wouldn't be hard at all. And like you could literally self proclaim yourself as like trying to go for, you know, the three time. So I don't know. Ain't no money like, in there. Ain't no money over there. The money is heavyweight. No money heavyweight. I mean, but let's be real, Lisa. Is Usyk really making money? Like he is the shadow of the UK. Like he's not like oh. he. I mean, he's he is literally freaking fighting for scraps. I think that. <laughs> That when you win that World Super Series, I think you win a lot of money, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I don't know. No, you are right. You know, you know, hopefully, yeah, hopefully we're going to That's why I said, Lisa, always keep me in check. But no, you're right. That's just like Callum Smith. You know, um, what? what is that little thing that they do or whatnot? But he became a millionaire off of that. And it was just yeah. you know, like going through that tournament. What was what, what is that called over there? World what? Super Series? Yeah, exactly, exactly. World Boxing Super Series. Yeah, that's yeah. a very prestigious thing. It's because it's tournament style. For the Muhammad Ali Trophy? Yeah, a new way wanted, um, uh, Josh Taylor. Yeah. It's very prestigious, like the S Super Six, very prestigious. Mm, yeah. Those cruiserweights were very good. When um Usyk was in there, they were all good. Hey, who won it for the cruiserweights again? The, in the, the Super Series? Uh, Breedis, right? Oh, recently? Bro. Yeah, Breedis. Breedis. Yeah, yeah he Breedis. good, too. Okay. He fought yeah. Daughter Coast, but he, he beat him. But Daughter Coast beat um the the goddess on... um um. TBE, oh uh, shit. Um, You're talking TM about Tabidi. Tabidi, yeah. Knock his ass, move out. I haven't seen him since. Tabidi sleeps still. 
man. Taking a nap. And I was rooting for him. I was like, oh, wow, we got a American, you know what I mean? But. Yep, and then he went to sleep. He wasn't prepared for those type of fighters. He hadn't fought. You know, he was still like a young fighter compared to them. He wasn't yeah. in season. Hell no. And she was teasing the grading and he went to sleep. Mm-hmm. Oh, well. You know, it'd be crazy, man. The Mayweather fighters be getting served, bro. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so yeah, I just looked it up. And uh, like Lisa was just saying, Callum Smith competed in that tournament. And he split a pot, in it, which he had a majority percent of because he won, which is how any type of pot should be split up. That's a uh, shout out to um, Earl Spence there. But um, yeah, he that that pot was six point one million dollars. So you know, before these guys even like get to the point where, and, and I'm not trying to talk down on anybody, but you know, um, me myself included, like you know, before we really know who they are on like a world stage, you know, some of these guys are able to become millionaires through this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. You never know it, and you'd never know it. When you got like, you know, guys out here that are, you know, fighting for, you know, fifty thousand dollars. Right. Yeah, right. People, some people try to shit on that tournament though, and that tournament really brings out the champs, the real deal, you know. Yeah, the tournaments do Yeah, more of them and you know. Because not only you know, it's the belt all the belts are on the line too. You got a belt that shit is on the line. And then whoever, whoever, and then at the end of the day, you fight for the Muhammad Ali trophy. Yep, right. And they all getting big cash. And sometimes we surprised by who come out on the end of that shit. You know what I mean? Like you, you know, right. you never know who gonna come out on the end of it. It could be the underdog out of everybody. And they, you know, and it's just the best fighting the best. Basically, if what's wrong with that? That's what fighters, I mean, all fight fans want to see. And the promoters, you know, it should be, should big, bring big money. You know what I mean? Especially if it's not too much of a super hyped uh, division. Because we know what route they go. They go the easy route, y'all. <laughs> Why would not I take the easy route? <laughs> Why would not I take the easy route? <laughs> Tell that nigga uh, stop fucking on side, bro. <laughs> Just make sure my right route got the horse sceneries, you know, the sceneries, the chickens and the horses and everything. That's how I, love, that's how I love my horses. Yeah. Bro, the funniest dude in boxing, bro. That man comedian. You guys are underestimating how hard it is to run a chicken farm. Bro, hard work, dedication. Hard work. Ten chickens <laughs> turn into ten thousand in days. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow! We got we got all kind of eggs. We got eggs for sale. <laughs> we got eggs for days. <laughs> <laughs> we got eggs from two one five across the pie. EJ eggs. <laughs> oh man! EJ eggs. <laughs> EJ eggs. It's, it's best farmer man. It's all good. Oh man. <laughs> Eggs down promotion. Right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> crazy. We got the most excellent egg. Oh, oh man. Man, I just wish that man would just I wish they would just make that shit happen, man. Because I I still like Earl, but damn, I just don't like the way he moving, man. Nah, bro. That's it. Yeah, man. I mean, yeah. there's other fights to talk about. I mean, if it happens, it happens, you know. If it don't, bro, no, I, I get mean, it. I, I get it. I'm just it's just disappointed when it's one of the biggest fights in boxing. It's just I'm a welterweight yeah. fan, you know what I mean? Like I like right. welterweights, you know. So to me, it's oh, like oh, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it, to me, it's like fucked up because I'm like, yeah, that 147, that that's where we get a lot of uh the best competition, you know what I mean? And when you got that when it's like, think about it two, three years ago, how rich it was with, with just right. talent, you know? And then right. the fights didn't materialize. That's just, ugh. Right. <laughs> you know, yeah. that's all. 
That's no, that's you're dope. you're a hundred percent right. And I was thinking that same thing when it comes to like imagine like a guy that didn't get into the Hall of Fame this year that I'm pretty upset about. But imagine James Tony versus Caleb Plant tonight. <laughs> super wow. Could you imagine? Oh my goodness. Come on, yeah. come on, man. Tune up. That's a tune up. That's a tune up. <laughs> yeah. With, 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 oh, man. Yeah, that's, it's not even. Damn. That man will be showing up. He'll be, he'll be showboating. No, I'll say it. It's a damn shame. <laughs> You know yeah. what though, but I don't I don't think anybody at 168 could fuck with Tony, including Canelo. Yeah. Shout well, you know, there was that Tony. one, but we won't go too into detail because I don't uh, want to find out how yeah. many you have on the other guy. <laughs> yeah, hey, 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 you got you got it, man. He he pulled it off, man. And that was the one thing that Tony wouldn't do. And that's train <laughs> or run. <laughs> My bad. He wouldn't run. Over Mike McCallum gave him some hell too. Yeah, yeah, he sure did. He sure did. He was a good, good fighter too. But if you take a lot of those guys and you put them at the one sixty eight, now there'd be no competition. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it, it, it done. You could take one sixty guys from back then and throw them at one sixty eight and watch them wash half these guys. You know what I mean? Easy. Oh yeah. No, yeah, it's exactly right. Like you were just speaking about, like, you know, everybody, like, in a way, like, you know, even like the David, Devin Haney's and the TOs right now, like, you know, back in the day, those type of guys, they were working to get to 147, to get to that spotlight. And, you know, right. same, you know, said for like middleweight and uh, even like for a time there, for a good amount of time, you know, super middleweight was that division. Yeah, man. You know, like uh, when you know, like Roy, as talented as he was, you know, there were certain guys that he didn't want to fight. Guys like McClellan, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm fucking with Essex. Hey. <laughs> I'm just hey, so, with Essex. There's, there's some bad <laughs> static. <laughs> bad static. <laughs> nah, but hey. you know what I liked about McClellan, though, Black. Before you uh cut it short, I just I. Is that dude could box, but he had a mean streak, man. Yeah, that he was dude, mean. Yeah. yeah, he was a vicious dude, man. Like th that'd be a, yeah. I think he'd do some serious damage to these guys too. Yeah, I don't see Plant competing like that. I think he's a good boxer, but uh, you know, I don't know, man. I don't know if he got. I don't know if he got the pop to keep these guys off him, like the relentless guys. You know what I mean? Right. A plan is uh, a boxer, you know. Right, right. But I just feel like sometimes when he lay on the ropes, like he can have to look perfect the entire night against guys like Canelo or uh, shit, like even some guys coming up from 160, you know. I mean, yeah, he got to – he can't just take breaks with those guys, man, because he's going to get touched. He's going to get touched a lot, and if he can't – if you don't hurt these guys, yeah, man. It was the accuracy for me that really did it because, you know, we he came in to this fight and, you know, I, I've watched Plant several times now. And I watched his, you know, the fight right before this fight. And it was kind of like y'all, like, you're always waiting for him to, like, hit that level that you heard about. And, you know, when it comes down to just kind of like the basics and, you know, getting his, um, you know, like judging his timing as far as like where to, you know, where to be in certain situations, it never came online. Like the one, two was missing all night, you know, like Truax just, you know, like slightly dipped his head and plant never landed the two. He even like switched it up and tried to throw, you know, the two first. And, you know, that was kind of working. Mm hmm. I just think I it's a power know. thing, man. I, don't, I think he takes breaks, and I think it's a power thing. As for his accuracy, I think his accuracy is pretty much on point. Um, I think mm -hmm. when uh, when he would set up the right hand, when he went into the Philly shell, I think it worked well for him, but it wasn't any fast power coming at him. It wasn't uh, an explosive guy on the other side of it. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't a young, hungry guy that that's willing to take some fire to give some, you know? Right. Yeah. Truax showed that he was an oldie but a goodie, and it was all night long. 
all night. <laughs> all night long. Yes, Truex lasted all night against Caleb. Slow plant. He okay. grows slow. He is not ready. <laughs> Caught him sweet and slow. <laughs> sweet and slow. <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah. I think it's kind of a light division right now, you know, other than Canelo. And yeah. and, and and if you ain't got Benavidez in that mix, then what's, you know. What's left, right? What, yeah, what's left? What's left? Yeah, this sadly might be one of the weakest times of 168. Perfect timing. <laughs> yeah. Perfect timing. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm... Earl's gonna skip up to 168 just because of how soft it is. <laughs> We're gonna be on this AB shit. We gonna treat we... the plant like Malinaja. <laughs> yeah, AB coming back, huh? Oh, AB. Yeah. yeah, is he? You think he he could make 140 or? I don't yeah, know. 140. Yeah. Yeah, he can make 140. Yeah, if he just work hard, yeah. No, I think all those divisions, all those divisions are dang. He's in a dangerous place, man. One thirty, one thirty-five, one forty. Like we were just talking about, it's all trying to, you know, they're all killing each other to get to one forty-seven. So no, I mean, I think uh, you know we've we've played around with the idea, but like one two kid said a long time ago, man, I don't trust it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man. I, I I just feel like the dude, I don't know, man. I, I think it, he blows up too much in between fights, and I think that's why he was at 147, and I think he's going to find himself in a tank situation and and be like, hey, come in at 142, and then if he don't let his hands go, which he probably won't if he's starving himself, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I, I, you know, I don't know, man. Yeah, I, I, he always I, – I'll give it to him. He always gets in the ring with them guys, and he tries for a little while. But he just – I don't know. I don't know if his head's in the game, man. Maybe if he's hungry enough, who knows? Well, we know at the end of the fight, if he loses, he'll be like, he was missing. <laughs> <laughs> I won that fight, y'all. I won, I won that fight, fight y'all. Yeah. <clears throat> but I, I got to say, one of his best performances was actually when he fought Mike Donner, I thought. When he turned it up in the in the second half of the fight, I yeah, was I it. was shocked. At, it was on, at, it was unfortunate he got dropped the second time because he was coming back. Yeah, oh, uh, yeah. but he he even even though Maidana said he didn't want a rematch with him, right? Maidana didn't want that smoke. Yep. The it, time. Yeah, he was like, yeah, that dude, that dude can punch. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> he mm-hmm. did say that. He, matter of fact, Robert Garcia even co-signed the shit. He said Madonna told him that you know that motherfucker, you know, is the biggest puncher he's ever been been in there with. And he said A B. That's the little dude coming up. Yeah. So I mean, but a lot of people skip over that fact that you know they ride with just the fact that Madonna put him on his ass, which he did. He humbled that man. But you you you've seen he had uh champion champion pedigree, but does he really want it though? You know what I mean? <clears throat> kind of like a, a underachiever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. That's how that's how I view AB as an underachiever, yeah. man. Because I think he got the talent there. He has but, so much potential, bro. Uh, so he look has good so much first, potential. win second. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, man. I remember I had a younger bro, man. He had seen him for the first time, and he ain't really into boxing like that. But when he seen him AB fight for the first time, he was like, hey, yo, who is that? Like, who's that dude right there? So, like, AB kind of had that effect on, like, casuals, like people that don't even really watch boxing. When you seen him fight for the first time, you're like, bro, man, he kind of – who's this? He, you would think he's the next one, you know, to really take over well, boxing. Yeah, he did the little things that, you know, make that so great. As, you know, as far as like, you know, turning his head to the crowd and like giving out his tongue or like giving yeah. a disapproval look about like a shot that like mm-hmm. that was the, you know, that was the stuff, man. Yeah, I think I think yeah. one of his worst mistakes that he made was trying to be Mayweather. 
by yeah. incorporating Mayweather into his own thing, yeah. uh, stylistically, the way he spoke, everything. They, I'm to like, please him. Yeah, yeah, when he tried to please Mayweather, it shit started. On him, Big Bro and shit like that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. yo, man, you were doing your own thing. You could have been, you could have mm -hmm. paid your homage to him, but you didn't have to try to be him. That was the first thing, and then right. skipping 140 was the second thing. I was like, it, it, it didn't work in his favor. He, mm -hmm. he got the Malinaji, and then from there, it was downhill. You know what I mean? But you know what, too? He went from trying to be like Floyd to trying to surpass Floyd. Like, you know, thought he was bigger than Floyd and shit. It was ego. You know? Oh, I, think it, I think it just didn't go his way, and then he was mad at Floyd because it didn't go his way, and it was like, man... You, you should have been doing it your way from the beginning. Yeah, it's, exactly. Yeah, I mean, once you stop trying to be yourself, man, that's that's where everything go downhill. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? And and he had all the talent to do it himself. You know what I mean? He had the, he had everybody watching him. He had people combing his hair in the ring. You know, what <laughs> <I'm saying? laughs> like, like he, he he was a fun guy to watch. But I think it yeah, just he went was. all downhill when when he just tried to you know. I heard it before. I've been here before. I was like, oh, man, you sound like money. Like, you know, but you ain't yeah. get it. Then, then it was billions, and I was like, oh, nah, nah, man. Don't but you know that. what, too? I want to add to that. What I think also, too, is it was like it got to a point where he don't know how to switch, make the switch from entertainer to now you got to get in fight mode, dog. Like, the walk-in is over. The rapping, the song is over. It's a rap, bro. Now it's time for you to let your hands go and, and fight and not be thinking about your outfit mm -hmm. and shit. All right. Can y'all stop beating me up now? I mean, look, I'm back. I'm better than ever. And I'm up. Yeah. You're giving out ass beats. You're giving out ass beats, B. You know, I'm just trying to, I'm doing my best. And I lost the weight. I'm going to make it great again, baby. There goes Novi. Actually, ain't me. <laughs> Make it you know, that, you know that, that, that AB has like a disproportionate like body, like he's like seventy percent <laughs> upper torso, and then like you know thirty percent legs and feet and shit. You know, you know what fight I did want to see at one forty seven was him and uh, Thurman. What? Yeah, me too. Yeah, you wanted I, to see AB and Thurman? Yeah. AB yep. would have beat. I felt AB uh, Keith would have beat the shit out of AB, but you know. maybe. But I'm just saying, like uh, the the one thing that, like number one, he could take a shot. Number two, I mean, he don't let his hands go, but when he do, he puts guy. He's pretty accurate, and he puts guys on their asses. So I mean, uh, I and I think Thurman's exciting too in his own way. So I just felt like it would be. Yeah, I, I, it was just a matchup I wanted to see. You know, yeah. a style matchup, you know? Oh, yeah. The press conference yeah. would be hilarious. Hell, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. The, the, the pre-fight, yeah. The, the battle of the egos. egos. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, doesn't, it doesn't look so good now to say this. And, um, you know, I rarely speak, like, freely about, like, a lot of my opinions. But I've always thought that Keith was, like, one of the slickest boxers, you know, in and, 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 and the division. Like he always was. I mean, he he's gone through a lot as far as you know, outside of the ring, and um, mm -hmm. you know, not representing himself, you know, too well um, in the division. But at the same time, like he was slick. Yeah, he's super talented, man. Super talented. I thought he was the most dynamic of all the welterweights. No doubt about it. I mean, he took like he just. He he had he had all the tools and the attributes to be great, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, I I agree with you. Yeah, I agree. I agree. He could box and he, he could slug, and when he let his hands go, he was super explosive, and he had pop. I mean, what more could you ask for? And you could say he got put on his ass, but he always got up. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He got up, and and it, usually when he got up, he won. Mm -hmm. So. You know what I mean? It, and it usually, sometimes take out the other guy. So, yeah, that's it. Says a lot about a fighter, man. And he did it on more than one occasion. So, mm. only time I ever seen him got knocked down was Pacquiao, but I'm not sure about his earlier fights. 
Uh, yeah, I think uh, I'm trying to think of dude's name. Uh, he dropped him with the or no, he didn't drop him, but he damn near dropped him with that body he's shot. Talking about, uh, Palazzo. Oh, he's talking Palazzo. Shot, Palazzo. Yeah, yeah he bent he, he bent over, but he didn't drop. Yeah, right. he almost got dropped by uh, what's that one Mexican dude who was fighting everybody at one point? Oh, the um, dude went in his first comeback fight, right? Oh no, I know what you're oh. talking about. Jose Cito Lopez. Jose Cito almost dropped Keith. Yeah, yeah. It, it was a flush shot. Made Keith kind of look at the at the uh the fucking ceiling like. And who was that one kid he fought that just that just you disappeared? About Chavez? Yeah, Diego. That, that that kid could fight. Diego could scrap. Yeah, I yeah. was like, he, he had a draw with first. Bradley. He gave him. He gave him a hell of a fight. I mean, he got mm-hmm. stopped in the end, but man, there's one yeah, thing I mean, that you will not he say. Him when he was undefeated, red hot. Yep, both of them were. Yep, both punchers too. Yep, it was it was a very risky fight at the time for Keith. Keith took it though. Yeah, he did. Stopped That's him, when boy. he wanted all the smoke. Yep. That's why I was, I was a fan of Keith at that time. Keith was trying to go after everybody head, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. you know what? And that's what that's one of the things that I gotta say about Jalik. He was like Spence, the new Keith. The new Keith, dog. And I'm like, you know what? Damn, yeah, he wanted all the smoke, and then when he got them titles, you know, he got waiting his turn. <laughs> he got to get to the back of the line, same shit. I'm like, yep. damn, man. Yeah, right. that's exactly right. He did it with a lot of people too. I mean, you look at Porter, for example. Like, I mean, if there's any guy that you can never say is like, oh, you know, you got to go fight somebody, that's Porter. Like, he's like, oh, yeah, I already beat him or whatnot. But, um, <laughs> you know, Porter was begging for that rematch. Porter begging everybody for a rematch. He you was know, he he around, and Porter, you know, like, he was well-liked by a lot of people, you know, had a very bright future because, I mean, he's, he's a good-looking fella, and, you know, he's got a very um, – he, he's got a gift as far as, like, being able to, um, like – relate to the people but man like yeah he, he was following thurman all over the place and shout out to porter too because he never did get any of them rematches again hey do y'all think that uh kill brook which would if sean porter wanted to rematch kill brook he would entertain the shit maybe now with them both being yeah. in the situation at the end like don't you think Sean would want to avenge at least one of his losses? Like, shit, let me get this motherfucker the first person to beat me. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. I think it's going to set records as far as punch, like, you know, the, the stats wise. Like, mm-hmm. I, I know a lot of you guys don't really like follow into that, but man, Sean Porter is one to look at when it comes to stats. And so is um, Brooke. Mm-hmm. I also fight I will. I wouldn't mind watching, man, a rematch between Kelbrook and Sean Porter. Even though Kelbrook is not the same like I used to be, but you know, nah, man, they both coming off a I'm loss. So. hundred. I know this shit going to sound mean, but nah, man, his new name is Kelbrook, man. He 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 been beat up too much, bro. Oh man, <laughs> no, I do agree with you there. Like I, I don't think he stands a chance. I like, mean, I think him and Khan is, is, uh, um, is Brooke, that's it. Go ahead. Oh no no go ahead essay my bad. Oh, no, I was just gonna say you'll see um, Brooks Corner throw the towel in with um you know Sean's just at, in his next level now man like this guy's never gonna reach his peak because he's always taking care of his body so well. Yeah that dude <laughs> you know you in for a fight if Sean Porter there man you he gonna make you fight you gonna fight him anything. Oh yeah. You you gonna get you gonna get into a, a serious fight with that dude. That dude is coming to fight every time, coming in shape. You know what I mean, and coming to win. You know what I mean. He's not yeah. coming to take no L's. You know what I mean. He gracious in his losses, but you know when yeah, he get yeah. home, people are like man, that's some bullshit. <laughs> his dad will tell you it's some bullshit though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that brain dot ass fucking. Uh... Quarter way chain he got on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They both got one, right? They both got that Porter chain. Right. But, you know, Sean is the only one to wear them powder blue. 
high powder blue suits or them leprechaun green suits. <laughs> yeah, man. He be with them off colors, man. Like, nigga, say St. Patrick's Day. Where is that day, blue man? at after talking all that crap? He gonna wait to fucking um Tony Views jump on then he gonna try to troll him. <laughs> that is funny though. I can't yeah, wait for the um uh, the trilogy. The Somebody match. said that earlier. Rubber match. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see it. Let's see it. Cause I tell you, Tony, he was out here giving you fire yeah. earlier. I was like, Tony Tony might have something to say about that. <laughs> 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 that nigga Tony was, was triggered. He said, "So basically, what you said is you old C now and can't see straight." <laughs> He's like, "Look, so man. funny, yeah, man. Yeah. Stop sitting in your depends." <laughs> <laughs> you guys, funny man. Hapolo and Tony. Yeah, I love when they get together. Great content, man. Mm-hmm. Well, why but Sean I'm- was saying that, um. If these young boys, um, he was like, they got to work their way up. He's like, he ain't willing to fight these young lions or whatever. These young killers, you know, like the Boots and the Virgils. And- oh, okay. I'll tell you, Lisa, because Sean huh? Porter is, I said, I will tell you, Lisa, because Sean Porter is the definition of working your way up. Like this man has literally fought everybody. Because everybody told him he had to go the other route to get to him. So I can right. understand his gripe on that. But you know, if it was somebody else, maybe I wouldn't say that. Right. I don't know, though. It would be a hell of a matchup, man, with him and, and some of these new guys. And if it ain't nothing popping, shit. You know what I mean? Why not? I don't know why these younger guys ain't going for a guy like, hey, Brooke, you want another payday? You know what I'm saying? You know, mm-hmm. or I don't know, man. Ugas, Ugas in a good position now. You know, so I, well, I only so, want to get that rematch. So, can somebody explain this champion in recess? So, does that mean that uh, Pacquiao can come back and fight Ugas? Or it'll be mandatory. I guess it'll come back. It'll be mandatory. Exactly what it is. This is a way for them to be a franchise without saying franchise. That's exactly what they're doing right now. They are doing that without, like, you know, putting any stipulations on it. Yep, and and also a way to to get Bud Crawford out of the equation. (laughs) So it works two ways. No Bud, and and, and they get it. So it's like the WBA, you know, oh, man. Bad business. Like the WBA and the WBC, you can just expect that. And that's what that's what you lack in boxing now. Like, you know, I, I know this shit and I, you know, I, I, I don't know half as much as, you know, everybody on the panel right now. But I, you know um, quite a bit, man. Stop saying it, so it, Well, no, what I'm saying is, is like, you know, you have like, you know, the WBA and the WBC, they're very tight. They're very close because, you know, that was the original break off. And it's like, you know, yeah. you got you got family ties going back to this crap. And it's like, you know, when when you say that one two kid, you're right, but you're right on such a deep level that it's it's sad. Oh, so and um the 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 IBF and uh WBO is very corrupt too. Yeah. The okay. WBO just started so look it, it up. Like look it up. Itself. Look it up. It, these are legal deals happening, but they're still okay. excluding <laughs> the best <laughs> Look it up. for the best to fight the best. Yeah, IBF was investigated. When you find out about them, you're gonna be your hair gonna stand up like whoa. Yeah. Look it up. Yeah. They had a guy, somebody had reminded me earlier. They had a guy that was ranked in the WBO that was dead. Okay. Why? They Damn. Had, okay. They got ghost. They got ghost rank. Damn. Yeah, Spirit. they had uh the, the 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 IBF is on the up and up now was because of that corruption. Remember they were sued, Bob Arum and all of them. It was a big mess. Look it up. Um, usual, um sporting yeah. advantage. Look it up. It's a very bad. They have to be on the up and up now. 
because it was bad. Okay, yeah, I will definitely okay. do that. So they are no different, trust me. I was the intercontinental WBO champion, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I do want to clarify though that I wasn't I'm like necessarily right. like talking bad about them by saying that, but I was just like more or less talking along the lines of like I could see that being very plausible. Oh yeah. No, I, I know what you I knew I knew what you were saying, but I was just putting another bug in your ear to let you know they all corrupt. Yeah, you right about that. Some of them are yeah, just more Blatant. Except nowadays. for that. Except for that IBO. Yeah. Just the WBC is the worst. Um, Ain't that the a IBO. computer generated one? Yep. They, they don't even count that shit. Yeah. And 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 the IBO ain't getting bought out though. Yeah. Unless you got some sort of Trojan virus. <laughs> yeah. They're gonna have to get a they're gonna have to get a hacker to get, get at them. <laughs> yeah, look at that mess yesterday with uh the Manuel Char and Trevor Bryan. That was a mess. That was a hot mess. That that um <clears throat> Don King card. Yeah, that was a disaster. That was a disaster. And Manuel Char and the Fresno Quindo fiasco, and he Fresno was talking Quindo. about trying He's to still stop fighting. You couldn't Listen. get a person there to tell you every like anything that was going on. Listen. <laughs> Listen. Fresno Quindo, I, I can't remember what it was. I don't know if it was a corruption or whatever years ago, but he's been su uh, was trying to sue them or whatever. I don't know. But it has something to do with that WBA regular title. And Manuel Char has been at regular for years. And then all of a sudden, Don King came out of nowhere. Well, uh, Manuel was having some type of uh, visa issues. And then uh, uh, Bermain Severn was supposed to fight Christopher Lovejoy, the one that was supposed to fight on the zone card weeks back, remember? And then it appeared that he was a Don King fighter, and he didn't even realize he was still. Y'all get you get where I'm going? Oh, yeah. Y'all don't like, remember a few weeks back he was supposed to... within a week. Right. Okay, it's a mess. It's a mess over there. So Don King, because Don King still, you know, he still, you know, he got a little power still. He probably, you know, behind the scenes would see Don King. You know, he been around a long time, so. You know, he got he some favors. He still got connections. Yeah, he's got, yeah. Well, you know he's what I'm saying? I mean, support some strings. Strings. Man, we love him. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, um, because Trevor Bryan, he was a he's a Don King fighter, and so is Stavern. And then I had read Stavern was suing Don, but then I guess he got that fighter where it was. It's just a mess. Okay. It's just a mess that whole situation, because they didn't even have the 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 uh, venue booked, and it was a week before the fight. The venue was still wasn't booked, so it was just I don't know. But now Trevor Bryan is the new um, WBA regular, and I wouldn't be surprised if they're gonna try to throw a spoiler in there with this um, undisputed after whoever wins that the first fight. Mm. Watch a mandatory come up. Oh, they're gonna split them belts up. Them belts going that, that ain't gonna be long. But, but at least we get two, the undisputed. It's supposed to be two of them. Two of them. Yeah, it's gonna, gonna be right because you got you got Deontay Wilder trying to get something. You got you got uh Usyk trying to get at that WBO, I believe, and you got you know everyone gonna be pulling the all their tricks out the bag. Right. The WBO, I think it's going to be Usyk and um, Joe Joyce. How would y'all, how, how y'all feel about like uh, AJ or Tyson Fury just, well, you know, if Tyson Fury win, he probably going to drop everything. You know? I don't uh, blame him. 
But AJ, you know, you how would y'all feel about him dropping if he pulls it off, dropping the title? I don't think he might drop a strap, right? You know, but I don't think he'll drop. You know what I mean? All his belts or some shit. Like I, I think shit. AJ might fuck around and just try to hold on to everything, just defend as long as possible. Fury up out of here. Yeah, he up out of here. If he pulls it off, he'd be like. He'd be like, I'm going to defend my title next year. And then just disappear. <laughs> right. I told you that Dawson didn't disappear on us. Because yeah. to be honest with you, he, once he reached that peak, man, he ain't got nothing to fight for no more. Mm-hmm. He wanted to, he, he's, he's that type, you know? Yeah. He's very unpredictable. When he reached yeah. the top of the mountain, he ready to walk back down that bitch. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, for AJ, for me, it kind of seems a little bit cryptic because he he mentioned the whole um I, I don't I don't remember who it was I think it was Iron Kong that said um he he was saying that the next Olympics will be his last um boxing match. Well, <laughs> if you, you remember, the Olympics were canceled this year, so I don't I don't know exactly what's going on. Like I don't know how those get rescheduled or whatnot. But it's all kind of like cryptid messages going on between the heavyweights right now. But what he said that he he he's only gonna fight for like four or five more years. Yeah. And then he's done. And um and and I hope he does get out. See, that's and what you think. Sense. That's what he was saying. Yeah. yeah. He got a lot of business. He got a lot of stuff he do. So. You know. Um. And you know he's smart. These ventures and all type of stuff, huh? Yes, I you know he's smart too, because he's stacking. When they at when they were showing him at his crib, I was like, that just looked like a regular ass crib. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? He ain't, he ain't flossing. He said he got big plans. He got big plans when he get out of this. You know what I mean? Right. So he he know what he's doing. So he, he, he definitely got nice that plan. He just don't show it. Yeah. Right. Of course I think he, got he just has a head on his shoulders. I mean, I think he yeah. showed a random crib just because, like, who, who right. you know, heavyweight oh, champion think, of the world is not going to show his crib off. Oh, hey, you know what? Maybe, you know, but at the same time, maybe he just, maybe he when he gets into retirement, he's going to go out all out. Or maybe he's just going to make sure he good. His kids good, his grandkids, his grand grandkids. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Of, no. of just taking care of everybody. You know. So I mean, if, if that's what he's doing, man, more more power to him, because there are fighters out there, heavyweight guys that got plenty of sense to this day. I think uh, Lennox Lewis is one of them. He speaks mm-hmm. well. He 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 he's still sharp. You know. This moment. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I mean, he, he, ain't, he ain't damaged goods, you know what I mean? So I mean, yeah, man, it's it's, it's good to get out when you know it, you know. Yeah, he, uh, signed, he signed um, Ricky Hatton's son. I just saw that yesterday. He has a, a promotional company or whatever, so he signed uh, Ricky Hatton's son. I heard Ricky Hatton got a son that's pretty good. So he has fighters under his uh, second promotional time company. Huh? I, I heard that same thing, but I heard it on the uh, previous, or maybe it's like two DAZN cards. But um, or maybe I'm incorrect. But didn't he? Didn't they release that on the DAZN card? Like I don't know, maybe like two months ago. Oh, I, I just I heard that. Uh, I saw a video yesterday that said Anthony Joshua signed him. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Promotional company, but, what, I, but he what, has what, other what, fighters what, too, huh? What, 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 all I'm saying is, it's good to have a plan because guys like Evander and Riddick Bow, you know what I mean? They they in a lot of trouble now, you know. Uh, they they yeah. surround yeah. themselves with a lot of people that they, that wasn't looking out for their best interests. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. uh, Brock Newman. I don't think that dude oh, ever yeah. Rock, gave mm, a crap yeah. about Lennox. I mean, I mean, not Lennox, but Riddick. You know, I heard he was oh. even messing around with his daughter. Like, wow, that's fucked up. Like, so yeah, like, what happened to Rock Newman? I remember him. I don't know, man, but yeah, I think I seen an interview where Riddick was like, "Yeah, he he was like, like now Rock Newman is." 
twice as old as Riddick. And he must yeah. kid, man, like, and that's your claim to fame, too. And you, like, come on, man, that's just foul. That's just yeah. foul. I, I, don't, I remember TV One did a, a special about um, Riddick Bow and um, Trevor Burbick. And I can't remember the other boxer and how their life after boxing and um Riddick Bro went through a lot of stuff. Yeah. Cause he went a little cuckoo there for a while. You he know? Ain't, he ain't see a quarter of the money he earned. Nah. You know? And he said, I, I trusted guys and I would have died for them people. And he was like, and they just, you know, they should end it, they should end it him, you know. Real talk. So I mean that, that that's just bad business. And he was a decent champion too. I thought yeah. I thought he underachieved, man. I thought that dude could have been <laughs> he could have been the, the the American heavyweight right there, man. Oh you know? yeah, yeah. He was he was good. Yeah, real good fighter, man. That first Holyfield fight with him was a classic. Oh yeah, absolutely. Great fight. We got to remember him for that. We don't want to remember because, you know, Riddick Bowe had a lot of shenanigans. A lot of his fights were so controversial, like the one with Tillis when he punched a guy out the ring. Remember that mess? Yeah, yeah. And Rock Newman <laughs> tried to do that neck. Yeah. yeah. Pulled well, him when out, he, tried to kick yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the guy kicked him. And then the second fight. They had, and then um, the who could ever forget the two uh, Galata fights? The first fight that riot. Any Galata had was dumb for that. That was some crazy stuff. Yo, any had yo. There was controversy around. Any punched who was it? Larry Donald in the face at the weigh-in. It, or, or, oh yeah. At the press conference, he had the fan man. Like Riddick Bow, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Had, oh, oh, oh. Wait, <laughs> yeah, man, that dude was. He was he, 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 oh. just a chaos, man. Yeah. yeah. Fun, though. George Foreman had to fight all them people at the riot. Oh, yeah. Don't they do were, it. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was crazy. And then they had to take Lou Duva out on a stretcher. That was some crazy shit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy. I watched that shit just for the riot. I was like, "What the fuck am I watching?" Don't do it, son. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was real. That shit was real, the man. Brooklyn cast, the Brooklyn cast turned it all the way up mm. after that, that slow blow. Yep, that's a fact. That's a fact. And then in the second fight, he got disqualified. <laughs> Same way, I was like, "Yo, this got crazy." Yeah, crazy. When Lamont Brewster knocked um um Galata out in the first round, I laughed so hard. Oh, <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know Brewster, Brewster, man, that that he come out the cuts. He stopped. He stopped Klitschko too, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yep. He stopped Vladimir. Yep. Yep. And Galata, you want to laugh, y'all, at night, watch some Andrew Galata fights. You'll be like, what the <laughs> Yo, he was biting dudes, too. He bit yeah, somebody. Yeah. yeah, he was biting people. <laughs> Yo, he was crazy. Yeah, he was. I don't know why Rock Newman put them two fools together, him and Riddick Bo. Yeah, well, him and Mike fought. Mike said, he, I ain't do nothing he ain't ever do. <laughs> He bit oh yeah, too. Mike Tyson <laughs> beat him up. He didn't even come out the ring. He didn't come back out. Yeah, he quit. He was like, "I'm done. Stop the fight." <laughs> he went back in the corner yeah. and was like, "Stop the fight." <laughs> yup. <laughs> Lennox Lewis beat him up. Yeah, Lennox did it. Did him in, man. Who was yeah. that? Like the first round? Yeah, something like that. First, second, third. He froze him. He, he went yeah. in freeze mode. That right hand froze him. He just kept He's putting a bully. He, he a bully, but when he know you ain't afraid of him, you know. Yep. He can fight, too, when he let yeah, his hands go. When he yeah, went that all scary. Yeah, yeah, he just be doing stupid stuff. But he had, you could tell he got 
like emotional or mental, you know, yeah, issues. Yeah, to tell. Yeah, he did. He did. He yeah, was that's the true. angry person, you know. Yep. The bully mentality. Yep. Yeah. It, it, and when it didn't go his way, he just he would just f fall apart. Yeah I, yeah, I agree with you. Yep. Riddick Bo too, he had, you know, some of his fights was like, what the heck, Bo? It's just, you know. Straight snuff Riddick. dude, man. He snuff dude. He snuff yeah. dude. <laughs> he was like, what you say? <laughs> yeah. He was yeah, about to snuff Lennox, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. People was like, Lennox, he, he was scared of Lennox. I was like, man, he was going to punch Lennox. <laughs> I don't care what anyone say. Uh-huh. <laughs> You could see it in him. He was like, you no, Lennox, he, was, he had his hand cocked a certain way. Lennox had said, I saw an interview because he, you know, he was ready. You know, he was on guard just in case he snuffed him. He looked like he was about to put his hands on Lennox in that last thing when they was up on stage. He, he went at him and everybody Ooh. grabbed him and shit. Even at his yeah. old chubby self, he was like, what you say? <laughs> mm -hmm. He's still mad at Lennox. <laughs> yeah, he don't like him. He still wants to get back, man. Hey, um, breaking news, man. Here's the headline, I think. This is coming from uh, ESPN. Manny Pacquiao and Ryan Garcia fight not happening. Oh, okay. Well, sorry to disappoint some of y'all that was really thought that that huh. fight was going to happen. There's a headline that came out that says uh, that fight is not going to happen. So that's off the table. So where does Riri go from here, y'all? Are we going to have a moment of silence? I don't know, though, bullshit? but I think that One Two Kid and Lisa should start their own uh, podcast because I could listen to that for days. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm mute and listen. Yeah. 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 Me and One Two, you know, we we vibe at night when he be on on them all nighters. I be hanging with him when he do those. Yeah. yeah man. I'm, a, I'm a nocturnal person. And I be I working. I've one in a minute now. I've been, yeah. on, I've been a little busy, so I, I, I can't mm -hmm. really do it the way I used to. Yeah. Yeah. Playing music. We be playing music. Yeah, all kind of stuff. But yeah, what, back to your little comment or whatnot. Yeah, Ryan, where is, what is he right now? I mean, is he just like the glorified call-out champ? We, we we know who you're calling out. That's everybody. Yeah, y'all, man. We try to tell y'all what that shit was. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm, I'm so done with that topic. We said it from the beginning. Everybody in the UGC said this, and you know, it's just coming to fruition. But you know, it's nothing expected or nothing that we didn't expect. There's some Devin Haney work right there. I mean, yeah, come on, come on one, two, one, stop hating, one, one, two, stop hating, one, two, kid. <laughs> There's some Devin Haney well, he work. Is, right? uh, mandatory, but he don't have to take it. This he don't have to. Yeah. Baby uh, chair. I don't you know what? I'm I'm so confused about these belts because the ones that have the real lineage on them is the ones that they call the baby chair belt. So I'm I'm totally lost. Baby champ belt. He's starting like, to make boxing is starting to get confusing like trigonometry. Yeah, I could be the man though, but not right now. <laughs> I got the yeah. Be the mandatory, but I'm gonna wait. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> yeah. No, I, I don't want that real title. Not yet. I'd rather get this Manny work. <laughs> so then he was down, I mean, put champion in recess for. I'm totally. This is mind boggling. You know why he ain't getting none of them big fights? Not only is he capping, but I think um, uh, Oscar De La Hoya is like, Garcia's the A-side. <laughs> he need that money. <laughs> Whoever right. said cahoots the they other gonna, day. They're going to say Manny right. Pacquiao price himself out. <laughs> oh actually, this the, this actually, this, actually, Ryan Garcia is probably, we may be the crazy ones. Because um, all press, whether it's good or bad, is good press. Oh, that's true. everybody's talking. That's true. He and listen, he just got a big deal with Gatorade. He sure did. You saw that, right? Yes, he, he saw did. Gatorade, Ryan. 
Right. Okay. Okay. People talking. That's all it's about. It's just marketing. Wow. The public so being duped. They throw out, they throw out <laughs> that uh, he's sponsored by Gatorade right before they announced that he <laughs> they ducked the back. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> what you want? What you want? Red, yellow, hey, or Ryan Garcia. <laughs> Ryan Garcia. Yeah, Ryan right Garcia. Now, I read a I read an article uh, about two months ago. They said he's the most marketable boxer right now. He was the first. AJ was the second. And Fury was the third. There's an article out there somewhere. Wait, wait, wait. Ryan is the most marketable. You said it's got to be true, man. Uh -huh. It's got to be true. That's what it. I, he had a he had an article on it. I saw it. But the uh, so what they did was brilliant. What he did was brilliant. Everybody's talking. Mm -hmm. Yep, this that, is that, why all that bullshit about pay-per-view sales and everything and about what I was trying to explain to that one guy earlier about like actual views and rating numbers, like right, man, they don't know what they're talking about. Yeah. What, what do you mean? I, um, give me like uh five minutes, I'll be right back. That's mm -hmm. crazy. It, it it's crazy though, because that's what it is. It, it's a popularity contest now. You know, yeah, well, you know, it's uh, you have to factor in it's different today. Um, where is be before they didn't have the social media, so you have to factor in the they they fact well, I don't we don't have to, but they factor in the social media following and the, all oh, that. That's that's, that's that's part of the uh, the popularity. You know, before it was different, you know, uh, fan, it was just different in the past. They had fan oh, no. clubs. Yeah, I agree with you, Lisa. I just thought the social media would actually help boxing not benefit the bad part of boxing, but benefit the good part of boxing. Because I, you could I, spread I, the news of, 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 of great skill fighters and big champ shit. But unfortunately, it's like, nah, man, this dude looks this way or this dude is this tone and this dude you know, has this type of following and it's like that's that's what's popular it, now. I mean it could, I guess, but um I think um like in the past when you had people who were who went to school for that, they were a little bit more professional. Not all the time though they weren't, but you know they it was just a little different, you know. Um but now the the the, the news is readily available to us. Whereas we had the newspapers, you know, it had to be hot off the presses and um and everything. You watch the news or whatever. You know, magazines are pretty uh antiquated now for the most part. You know, everything is readily available, so I get what you're saying. Yeah, but it yeah. also huh? But some of the some of the media, like even then at least we got half truths. Like now we're getting yeah. <laughs> we getting just flat out bluffs. It's like eat this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's well, see, like, well, see the media, right? But see, when you're a when you're a journalist, you have to you're bound by um this type of uh journalistic uh like uh I guess integrity or whatever. So, like, if a news is if the story is not correct, then they have to retract that story, or you know what I'm. That's what they used to do. You know what I'm saying? But these are people who are sports. You know who went to school. You know what I'm saying? Like these right. communication people who went to school for that. You know, it's a different. See, um, journalism it has to be some integrity with it, right? And you have to cite your sources and um, right. And then sometimes it'd be an anonymous source, so you have to say according to sources, or you know, you got to be careful how you word stuff. So it's uh, it's different. You know, yeah. With social now, media, you could just say anything. Right. Right. Just got, because people say they're doing journalism don't mean they're journalists. Right. I know. Journalism and I was is at, hard. You gotta go to school for that. Yeah, I'm telling I, you. I was looking at the articles on these fighters and in all these uh you know, these pay-per-view numbers and this pay-per-view money. And here's these journalists dropping these uh quotes and, and dropping these uh you know these blogs and 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 they were all different, every one of them. And I'm like, well, what the fuck is correct? Like, ain't nobody, 
you know, what's their source? Like, they don't have to put their sources down. They don't have to do certain things now. And I'm just like, okay, this is this, and these are these numbers, and these are these numbers. And it, it didn't matter. It was like looking at the New York Times and the New York Post. You know what I'm saying? It's the same story, but the, both the stories are different. You know what I'm saying? So it's right. like, you know, but I'm talking about numbers, though. Numbers supposed to be on point. And I'm looking at three or four different articles, and they're all different numbers. You know, and I'm like, damn, ain't nothing. Yeah, no integrity, no, you know, it just people just, yeah, I don't know, man. Nothing, nothing. So we just, that's, but that's what we try to do the best we can over here is true, true media. Right. You know, um, shout out to the Black Horsemen. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it was, uh, like people in the past, you know, uh, different, um, journalists that got in trouble for stuff. You know what I'm saying? So it's not, I can't remember if it was Dan Rathers or somebody in the past. Oh, but you know, people make mistakes. So they they're human, you know. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But, um, what I was talking about earlier with uh, Ryan, though. Sorry, I just uh, was able to like get outside. But um, with Ryan, um, what I was saying about like the difference with him, um, and how I believe that that is true about him being like the number one trending boxer is because the amount of new views he brings. Like when you look at a video, for instance, like you look at a video or whatnot, and not not too many people like think differently of it but when you look at like views and how many view like how long it took to get those views like th there's a you know there's a big scale that goes into there as far as like money and people wanting to sponsor you that's why he just got a Gatorade sponsor because you know when you, you look at like some of the highest viewed boxing matches you know it would take like a year to get like 3 million views and he did like 11 million in like a week so that's wow, what I'm wow. talking about is like the new views. And like you said, you don't have to be knowledgeable anymore. You don't have to read the newspaper anymore to like see like, hey, you know, like what's going on in boxing, you know, like to even know like a boxing event was going on. Like, you know, I think one, two kid was saying like there's so many different sources that you can get it from that it's become so diluted as far as like what is actually, you know, going on and what is somebody's opinion that has been right. Um, That's why I don't even pay no attention to half of it. Yeah, and and you know what? And because then, it's, because some some some. So, oh, I'm sorry, one to kid. No, no, I'm no, just gonna I, say this. I, no, my, some my of bad. some of these people are speaking from bias. It's not like it has to be unbiased in the news, straight down the middle. Uh, and what has happened. Um, but a lot of them may be more pro this or pro that. When it was uh, in the past, I think it was a little better because you have people, you have to see what it, the journalism is about accountability too. I'm not saying it was perfect in the past, but you had a little bit more accountability because you had the the Burt Sugars that was still around. And uh, um, well, he wasn't a journalist, he was a historian, but you know, you had people that would, would uh, you know, it was just a little bit better. But it was still messed up, though. If you know what I'm yeah. trying to say. Yeah, I get, I get exactly what you're saying. But, the, but, but, like y'all were saying, y'all both correct because you got, if you got four different articles and you're pushing a narrative, which I could choose which one fits my narrative <laughs> because they all four different pieces of information. So I could say, look, I got receipts. <laughs> you know what I mean? It'd be easy. Bro. Yeah. Well, it's, it's like that guy earlier saying, like, oh, the WBN doesn't, you know, like, accept the WBA rankings now. It's like, so? Like, we, I mean, we're still going to be able to find out what the WA, WBA is doing. Like, you know, you're not changing anything. Right, right. I, I mean, yeah, it, you, you're really not changing nothing. It sucks. It sucks. I don't know. The WBA really is looking bad right now. But they probably always have been, you know, because they started that splintering off the belts. You know, they really started that when you think about it. Yeah. And the WBO, they just, what, they started in what, 89? 
Yeah, I don't know what year, but they, I didn't even know about them until the last 10 years or something. Yeah, they haven't been around that long. So they, yeah. they more, they more, um, like a European base, uh, yeah. like a lot of like the Klitsch lows and all of them. They, yeah. you know, I mean, he, well, he had like multiple belts. The other one had the WBC, but like, you know, a lot of the European fighters had the WBO belts. Yeah. Damn, how long was Klitschko champion? He was reigning for Which some one? years. So, Vlad. Uh, for a while. Yeah, 10 title defenses <laughs> or 10 years? I, think, I thought he had more title defenses than 10. I thought it was like 17 or 19. I'm not sure. Yeah, I was... I was playing on something else, but right. Yeah, but that, 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 that doesn't mean that that doesn't mean that he had them all with the three belts, though. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, there was yeah, he, he kept, that's very true. He lost a couple of times, right? Hit, and then uh, came back and got his titles back. But yeah, he was reigning for a while. Unfortunately, at that point in time, the heavyweight division, like when people when it came to the heavyweight division. Most of the boxer fans slept through that shit. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. See, like, they mentioned they mentioned Wilder with the 10 title defenses with Ali, but Ali had three different reigns as heavyweight. So he had more title defense. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't, you know. But that don't count. <laughs> I think Joe Lewis, yeah, but I think Joe, well... It does count in your no, resume. I, I was being sarcastic. Oh, <laughs> yeah. but um, Joe Lewis had the most title defenses of a heavyweight, I believe. And then this Cecilia Breakers had a lot too. Yep. Yep. Or yeah. female. Larry Holmes had a hell of a mm -hmm. rank too. Yeah, he did. Uh, probably one of the most underappreciated heavyweight. Breakers, I think, tied Joe Lewis in defenses. Uh huh. Breakers? Really? I thought she was right there and then yeah, she lost. She, she would have she would have broke the record, but she lost to uh what's her name? Serrano. Oh, not Serrano, the other one. McCaskill. Jessica McCaskill, yeah. Yep. See, that's historical. And they didn't even give that lady no real props yeah. in the set. It's like the boxing world because women's boxing is so, you know, but we got two women that's getting ready to be inducted into the Hall of Fame, right? Yeah. And Wolf and um Layla. Yep. Shout that's out to Rocky. <laughs> yeah, that's major. Yeah. And you talk it's, about it's like people. the coming from behind because like, you know, people haven't been giving them recognition. Well, that's just only gonna continue to like set back, like you were just saying, because like when you think about it, like these they're just now getting recognition on this, but you know, they're not they're not even gonna be able to do much as far as like um Right. And I know she lives in Norway, so she's not really popular here in the U.S. I think she came to the U.S. to HBO when she fought uh, Callie Reese. That's, that was the first time she got knocked down. So she started showing maybe a, a slippage. You know, she's getting older. You know what I'm saying? Mm. She's 38 now, so that was her first time getting knocked down. Yeah, that rematch on the way. Yeah. yeah, but she, I think, I think, I think she should have stayed with her trainer. She left and went to Abel Sanchez. I don't know why. She had been with Jonathan Banks. I thought he was a better trainer for her. Mm. Her style changed because she's more of an angle fighter. Her style is a little different. I don't think any Abel, I just didn't, I, when I saw him in her corner, I was like, oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Just, I don't know. He said he said she was the hardest was person he ever been with. He said she's a real hard worker though. Yeah. She's an angle about, fighter. How about shields? Like, is she just gonna leave boxing? No, That's she getting ready to fight soon, a boxing match. I think yeah. she's trying to do both, right? Damn. Oh, so she has some uh Deion Sanders stuff, some Bo Jackson stuff. Yeah, but she's got a She's got to be in training for the MMA for a few years. Yep. yep. I would say so. 
Is she gonna go right to the UFC or is she gonna be like at a pride or something like that? I'm not sure. Right now she's in like like a training before you get to the UFC. I don't know what it's called. But she said she ain't making like uh, a lot of money in boxing though. No. She was on Showtime and I don't know what happened. She left. So she's getting ready to do a pay per view. Uh, a female card, and um, it's on some type of app. That's where the mu- that's where it's start to go, man. You know? Yeah, that's where everything, all boxing, gonna like all fights and stuff, gonna start going because these networks just they, ain't nobody trying to mess with them, man. And I don't know right. if it's gonna be a good thing or a bad thing, you know. Remember when she got upset? She had got upset. When the PBC came out with their um no it wasn't well it was HBO not HBO Showtime came out with their uh you know how they do was showing their fighters or whatever for but it was PBC it wasn't the Showtime fighters you get what I'm saying mm-hmm. hey real quick yeah okay hey homie say hi Lisa uh hi hey hi what's hey. you Hey, little beautiful. I'm just basically giving y'all the heads up. She's not gonna let me go no further in this live stream. This is my daughter, my four year old. She. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, I understand. I understand. She, 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 she it's, take, it's like like Tia Fimo says, it's the takeover, and she's taking <laughs> okay. over. Before no, you. I get I get exactly where you know Lisa's trying to go with them, like Wayne Hennessy said in the chat about fight TV or whatnot. But yeah, um, fight TV. Yeah. yeah. Uh, when when it comes to like women's anything right now, it's you know it doesn't matter if you're gonna. I mean, I think boxing so, is gonna be the place so, to stay as far like as this. money. Just looking at like the past, but you know, like women's no, UFC yeah. isn't exactly like doing numbers either. No, so. Look at my hand. You gotta go like that. Right. Go like that. It's not okay. real. So you gotta go like that. Okay. Give me a minute, okay. <laughs> but uh, thank y'all, man. This ended up being like a what four hour stream. Mm-hmm. Thanks for having us, Black. Thanks for having yes, us. Man. Yeah, thank nice. y'all, man. It's oh, always a actual SA Lisa Bells, the entire chat. Yeah, yeah, back, Lisa. Always Excellent. a pleasure, gentlemen. Always a pleasure. I look forward to the next one with y'all, man. With All y'all. right, read Little Mama, baby, a bedtime story. Yeah, I'm about to do it right now. She's already picking up books. Yeah, she's mm-hmm. after she's <laughs> so thank you Lisa for coming on thank you actual one two sport yeah. advantage and the, and a whole welcome. lot of chat man all right all right peace out everybody peace okay peace